Hi. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Batch 4. And I'm so delighted to see around 70 people here. So I'm seeing 70 people. I hope that there will be more. I think um, there's like approximately 100 people who joined the batch, right? So for today, um, our very first part of the training or like today's training is not going to be recorded, but it's a live stream. Care of me, okay? I hope that's fine. And um, how is everybody doing right now? I'm seeing new names and I'm so happy for that. I hope you can be friends because you're going to be helping each other, right? Because, you know, being a VA is not as fun as when you have, you know, people around you who can, you know, be your community. Okay, so tonight we will be talking about, first and foremost, our house rules. Um, especially for the training. I am also going to be talking to you about, you know, like for today is actually, you know, the introduction to being a virtual assistant. I'm also going to be introducing our company, of course. And for those people who were not um, in the live stream um, on like last Friday, so I'm also going to be introducing the team behind Virtual Assistant University. Um, so let's begin. Is that fine? By the way, for people who have questions, of course, you know, I'm super like that's super welcome, but, um, I think we'll have like a question and answer portion. Okay. All right. So let's begin. Um, <laughs> I've been ranting here, but then I wasn't, am I serious? Are we really beginning? So to everyone who is uh, who doesn't know me, my name is Judy Kimberly Rallias. I am the CEO of Virtual uh, Virtual Lasting and also the founder of Virtual Assistant University. So I've been um, in this industry for the past over ten years. My company started um, like nine years ago, but I was you know. You know freelancing before that generally in the outsourcing world um i've been doing it you know i was i also started in the call center just like a lot of you here i think who here comes from a call center like a call center career comment below <laughs> Walang comment. Ano ba yan? <laughs> okay. All right. Baka wala nga. So, um, anyway, I wanted to discuss to you, you know, all about, let me, let me start by telling you, you know, what's the reason why we do this, okay? So, when I started out, um, in the virtual assistant world. At that time, they didn't call it virtual assistant. Nobody called it virtual assistant yet. There was no name. But people were starting to work um, online and people just would call it freelance or online job. Um, I remember when I started I was fresh from the call center industry. And when I was a call center agent, I really enjoyed my life actually. Can can you guys hear me though? Am I clear? Okay, all right. 
And so when I started, I I I, I had no idea, but all I really wanted to do was to work from home because I think at that point I was working as a call center agent for around three years and I wasn't very happy. You know that feeling when um, like I used to, I used to have to go to, you know, to, um, my workplace, I have to arrive at 8 p.m. Kasi um, first shift ako sa night time. And then um, at that time, ewan ko, nag-aagawan kasi kami. Um, nag-aagawan kami sa jeep. And I would, I used to like a certain point, I have to like go to work para makasakay sa jeep. I have to go to work um, at around like 5.30 p.m. <laughs> and I would have to go around like, you know, the full route of the jeep. Because at that point, um, especially that I didn't graduate college, so I never really thought of myself of, you know, um, having better options. I thought my best options would be is to work in a call center and nothing wrong with being in a call center. However, of course, I really enjoyed actually, you know, working in a call center, um, especially for somebody like me who didn't graduate college. It was a great opportunity to be in a corporate setting. And for me, that's a really good background for me when I, you know, transitioned to having, um, having like um, a business. By the way, I'm seeing like so many comments about um, like they're having problems. Maybe you can look at this live stream on your phone go to YouTube, go, go to YouTube, use your phone, use your go sakto <laughs> or, go, or use your, use your like, what's that? Um, okay. Like I'm so distracted with the comments that it's not working. Is it working for other people? Can I get some comments if, you know, I'm clear for other people because it's bothering me. Are we okay? Okay, so it's okay for the others. Guys, maybe go to YouTube, okay? Okay, so let's continue. So... Um, when you're young, okay lang naman na mag-call center. I, I, I think I was like 18 when I started. I dropped out of school because I wasn't really like, you know, someone you would consider to, you know, someone who would actually graduate nursing. <laughs> so when I was in the call center, I really enjoyed, you know, uh, meeting new friends and doing, you know, similar stuff. However, in my experience, and I don't know if it's also your experience, maybe a lot of you here, um, comment below, what's your reason why you want to work from home? That would be great. Comment below, what are your reasons why you want to work from home? In my end, my motivation um, for working from home was that somehow eventually the night shift and like the commute really wore on me. Um, I would get sick a lot, maybe because the air con um, in the call center or like I think air con and the carpet, they didn't clean it well. And I would usually get sick 
that was that was like more than 10 years before covid can you imagine and um i used to get so stressed out i was in a sales account and even if i was like the top one or you know i would either be the top one or top two salesperson in a company of 1,500 employees, but I was very burnt out. I was burnt out because, you know, when, I don't know, like there's something about the stress that I didn't appreciate. And although I was enjoying a really good salary and very good commissions, but, you know, eventually I was like telling myself, there must be something better for me. There must be something better for me. I started to fantasize, what if there was a job that I can just work from home? What if, what if I don't have to like ride the Jeep anymore? Because I was so sick of that Jeep, to be honest. <laughs> And um, I started to really fantasize, like, maybe there's a better way for other people. Because I also saw that there were so many, um, this was like one of the, I guess, motivations for me, especially when I started the business. Because I saw a lot of my friends who are parents. Some some of them, ha like, actually have two parents family homes and you know they even had it better but a lot of them were single parents a lot of them didn't have a husband or didn't have a wife um and it was so difficult because they have to leave their children at home especially at night and um because they have to like work in an office and for me that wasn't very safe as somebody who has experienced child abuse um as as um as a child right like in my school age years i always thought that that was so unsafe for children like you won't imagine having to leave your children at home and then who's going to watch them if if that person's going to watch are they you know safe are they going to like take care of the kids or are they going to harm so i always you know heard of people like if there was just a home based job if meron lang home based job nako i will i will stop working yung mga ganun so eventually i did stop working in a call center And when I started, I really thought like, oh, this is so simple. I mean, it's 2010. I, I told myself, gosh, it's 2010. There must be something, you know, because I thought that that time that 2010 is already so modern, right? We, like I already had an iPhone. We already had 3G. <laughs> we already had 3G. Um you know, we had a high speed, in, like for me, it was already high speed internet to have like one Mbps at home at that time. And for me, like, you know, there must be a better way. I'm sure I can be able to get a job immediately. And then I was so, um, my, my then boyfriend at that time, my ex-boyfriend, he was nagging me, sinasabi na, my God, you quit your job. Baka magpa, ano, magpa, sa bisaya, magpabuhi raka nako, something like that. Or like, are you going to, to mooch off from me? Something like that. And it was so painful. And I really told him, you know, no, I'm going to really make it work. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to be able to sustain myself. And I remember that my 
I was so excited that time. I thought, you know, I can just work on my iPhone. I mean, I thought that an iPhone is like the epitome of technology at that time. <laughs> I didn't have a laptop. When I started, um, I realized that it was so hard to look for a home-based job. Who here has experienced um, struggling with looking for a home-based job? Please write your comments. In my end, I had such a struggle. I remember before that I have friends who, um, you know, already got home-based jobs and they won't even say na kung saan nila na find your home-based job. Tapos yung answer pala is Odesk lang pala. They wouldn't say. Parang ayo parang that was a time when I realized that it was it was like it was like I was so lonely in the world that I cannot really rely on anybody to give me information. Nobody was willing to give me any freaking information. Nobody wanted to help me. Even my friends who were like bragging, nam, ah, meron akong home-based job, blah, blah, blah. I'm earning this much, mga ganon. And when I would ask them like, Ay, where, where did you get your home-based job? I know, uh, they would say something so vague. And I knew that I wasn't welcome. You know, like that feeling where I have to strive for it for my own. Maybe, you know, there's something about human nature wherein we want to brag about our successes, but, you know, we, we feel, I don't know, I'm not like that, but some people are. They feel so threatened about telling other people where the opportunities are. Maybe it's like um, a scarcity um, mentality. They don't want to share. And so I had to like search online, you know, with the words like work from home, yung mga work from home or how to earn money from online, how to make money online, how to work from home. Yung mga ganon, home-based job, Philippines, yung mga ganon, wala pang mga groups before, guys. Wala pa. But before, you know, and when I would go to these links, it would always route me to like yung mga scam na mga websites that would ask you to pay. Kasi daw, you have to pay to be in their program na mga survey, survey lang daw, yung mga ganun. And so, it took me some time. I'm not gonna lie. It took me like, more than a month to find a job, a job. And when I found a job, the offer was for $2 for each or a dollar to two, uh, to like 50 cents to $1 to $2, depending on the word count. And it was for articles. And so I thought to myself, I magaling naman ako magwrite. Sige, I will write something like that. And so when I I did like fifty articles, and you know when I submitted it, it took them some time to get me get back to me. And then when they did get back to me, they didn't pay me. They just said like, you know, I don't know. They didn't pay me. They just gave me a gift card. For Amazon. And at that time, it was so hurting. Because I wrote 50 articles at like 500 to 1,000 words. 300, 500, 1,000 words. And to realize that it is such a tough world out there. That's when I started to panic. That's when I started to say, oh my gosh. This is going to be hard because I really thought this is going to be easy. Like, because I thought it was a modern world. How hard could it be? But the reality is when nobody is going to show you the ropes, 
I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's very hard. I don't know. Until now, I still don't know. And so at that time, I really told myself, if there was a company who would hire people and um, really vet the jobs and the clients, I would apply if they were a Philippine-based company. That was in 2010. And flashback to today, I did not know, you know, eventually that I would start that company. And I'm really happy that until now, it's really still our vision here at Virtual Lasting. Um, I established this company back in 2011. And um, so far, we have actually placed a lot of jobs for different people. Um, for those who will graduate on this program, we will be very happy to, you know, if, if it is to your um preference if it's what you want we will be happy to hire you and another thing is that um you know i've been training virtual assistants i believe if i'm not mistaken i believe i'm the very first trainer for virtual assistants i started training virtual assistants back in 2014 um it's a relatively new term at that time and people were like huh what my very first batch there were only five people who attended <laughs> and until now they are still my friends so um just to introduce myself um you know you see my name here i am 31 years old, turning 32. I am located here in Cebu. Our office is in Cebu. And um, I would also like to introduce, uh, before, you know, proceeding to, like, um, the introduction about becoming a virtual assistant, because that's our first topic, Along with lead generation, we're going to have a skills topic today as well. So I'm going to try my very best to be as fast as possible for this because you still have like a recorded video after. But let me call on um, Joy and Mimi. Joy and Mimi are... Hi, Mimi. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Joy. Okay. So Mimi and Joy are my um, right hand and left hand. I don't know. They're both my right hand and left hand. They're really amazing girls. I would not survive without them. Um, truly. Ayo, Jude. Magpakamatay ko, joke lang. But these women are, you know... The wind beneath my wings because I'm so happy to have a team who has the same vision as me, who is very sincere in helping out people in, you know, getting uh, jobs. Mimi is um, our operations manager. So she is the one who is like really taking care of the VAs once they're already in prod, okay? But Mimi will also be helping out, overseeing the training. But you will meet your, your coach later, okay? Joy is our HR manager. Joy is the one who will choose you for the jobs. So, magpapitanggilas kayo ni Joy. If ever you I want... I payments, though. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Under the table transactions. Ano ba yan? Ang dami na magsip-sip kay Joy. So, so guys, um, Mimi and Joy, uh, you go first, Mimi. Um, introduce yourself and of course, um, you know, share what are your, I guess, tips for the training for everyone. Ay, mute, no mute. Audio. 
I'm so sorry. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm so excited to be sharing with all of you um, our expectations, my expectations from the training and as well as what you can expect from this training. Okay. So as Judy has mentioned, I am in charge of the operation. So we will be working closely once you have been confirmed by a client. I know we will all get there, trust me, okay? Batch one, batch two, batch three, they all started with a training and now they, we are already working with each other because they have already been confirmed by a client. So guys, that is one thing that you will expect from this training. We will not just be teaching you the skills on how you could be a successful virtual assistant, not, not just the skills, but also the soft skills. Um, like for example, how to be resourceful, how you can be proactive, how you can be a successful virtual assistant. So you will all be learning about that. And at the same time, what we really can promise you after this is you will not only learn the, um, the skills, but at the same time, we will offer you an employment. All you just have to do is to work with us. We will take care of you. We will take care of your career. So for those who has no VA career here or who has no idea what is virtual assistant, I am really excited for you because right now we will be we will be helping you. Um, we will be helping you. How do you call this one? Discover or we will be helping you how you could be a successful virtual assistant. What is virtual assistant job? What it is all about, okay? So um, there are just few things I just would like to, to share with you and how you could um, be successful in this training. First, I actually have list down, so I won't miss any. <laughs> so first no, is prepared. I get the list yeah. to get down. <laughs> so first is, guys, I'd like you to open your mind and your heart on this training, okay? So um, if you have already browsed the VAU University, you might get overwhelmed with the topic, with the title of the topic, the monetization, FBI's WordPress. I can understand because like you before um a few years back i don't have any idea what is a virtual assistant job so you might get overwhelmed with a topic with a title but do not get overwhelmed okay take it one step at a time because we are here with you that is our job that is our responsibility to impart the knowledge and to make sure that you will fully understand it okay so do not open your heart open your mind to learnings and the next Step or that I would want you to um, to 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 know is know your learning styles. What learning styles would work best for you? If you are auditory or visual learner, video tutorials like this is really best for you. But if you are like tactile learner like me, <laughs> who learns best when you are doing things, when you're doing um, things, you know, practical test. What I can suggest you to do is to always have pen and paper handy so you could take note of the key concepts, key ideas, key words, and you'll be able to retain it or you, you will learn, learn better. But don't worry for those tactile learners because after each of the activities, you will have um, activities, you will have tasks to do, um, practice, practical um, exams, so you could for us to assess as well your comprehension for us to know how you know, how how well you understood the topics okay and um like judy mentioned earlier make friends as well okay because if you have friends and by the way guys we are a community here okay so um like judy mentioned on her previous lives we have this open door policy so even that she is the CEO, she's very approachable, so friendly. You, you do not get over, um, intimidated. She's not that person. She's really nice. So you could reach out to Judy. You could reach out to me. You could reach out to Joy. And you will be introducing to your RC and Neil, who are the subject matter experts, the SMEs, the coaches. So you could reach out to them if you have confusions. And we are a family here. We are a community. So... Should you have confusions, questions, do not hesitate to let us know so we could help you out, okay? And lastly, I'm, I think I'm down to my last um, bullet. <laughs> so enjoy every day. Enjoy every day and every step 
of your learning because like I said earlier, we will not only be teaching you the skills, we will also be helping you um, know what's the right attitude to become a successful VA. And at the same time, we are here for you. Um, if you have, if you, what's your goal? What's your long-term goal on this training? Because our short-term goal is to get you a job, okay? Long-term goal is for you to be equipped with the right skill to be a successful VA. That's the long-term long goal. Our short-term goal here is for you to get a job with us. So help us help you, okay? And every task and every activities, make sure you are doing this for your client already. So with that being said, we are expecting you not to bombard us with questions. This is the perfect time for you to be resourceful, okay? When I say resourceful, you check other websites, you check websites, Google, YouTube. There are other res resources that you can check out on if you are confused with a topic. Okay, this is the perfect time, again, for you to learn the soft skills as a VA. Because when you have a client, you don't bombard, you don't rain, you don't shower your clients with your client with questions. You first check resources, and then you verify it with a client. So that is the skill that we want you to develop here in the training as well, okay? And also be proactive. If you have um, suggestions, insights that you think um, we can make better the training, let us know. We are always willing to do that because we are always open for growth, for suggestions, okay? Um, yes, and I think those are the things that we are expecting from you and what you can expect from us. Let's bridge the gap. I believe there's confusion, there's conflict. If there's there's gap, there's um, we're not on the same page, but let's communicate with each other. So we are here to help you, okay? Maximize us, do maximize us. <laughs> yes, right. I'd like to give the floor to Joy, our HR manager. Thank wow. You that... How do okay. I follow? <laughs> that was quite long. And I did not prepare. Sorry, guys. Like, I was so, um, you know, I was so frazzled when they said that we will go on live tonight because I was like expecting that I will be doing that tomorrow, but I forgot. Yeah, it usually happens on the first day. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> medyo hard pa because you know I was rushing to join the the stream yard this evening. But hi everyone! Oh, <laughs> ano lang yan? Um, too big at saka dasal. <laughs> um, relationship no, but, with God, nakakaglow. <laughs> oh, totoo. Sorry. Tsaka ring light. Anyway, so good evening, everyone. I'm so pleased to meet all of you through the comment section. I know that in the future, I will see each one of you, possibly in the graduation or even Zoom. Are we going to utilize that? Because this is like I a small can, group. Yeah, it's a small group. So maybe we can also do some Zooms. Yes. Yes. So we can really get to know each other in the next few days. So um, maybe I will be orienting you about my function here in virtual lasting. Once again, I'm the HR manager. Um, so HR, <laughs> HR role basically from recruitment to support. Um, uh, at the beginning, I will be in charge of, you know, keeping track of your mm -hmm. performance it's also part of my job to see who is a perfect fit for our clients so who are our clients basically anyone who needs a VA. <laughs> yeah it varies so if you have like questions do they hire people with accounting background or do they hire people with insurance background it varies so if you are someone with, with different skills with different experiences then you are very much welcome because our clients are not the same <laughs> they have different different needs like um most of them need social media marketing um vas or those who can do wordpress and design but it's not the same all the time so this training that we're providing here makes you a uh you know, a well-rounded VA because you're not just skilled for one, but you're skilled for many. You know lead generation, you know data mining, you know um, content writing, you know uh, WordPress, you know automations. So whenever you are profiled or whenever we have clients who are looking for multiple skills, then we can definitely shortlist you for those times because you've already been exposed 
right? So that's okay. the reason why we have so many trainings here. It's not to bombard you, <laughs> as what Mimi said. It's not to bombard you with, you know, um, so many tasks, but it is to equip you because we have clients who really want you to, who really want you to do several things um, mm -hmm. in, in in their sh in the shift that they are giving. So that's the reason why we're exposing you to all these different tasks. Now, um, so so that is my role. I, I keep track of those who are really um, very good from day one to day fifteen. And by the way, guys, it's not just fifteen days. That's um, that is just basically the the screen time <laughs> or the time it will take for you to watch every video or every training or be be on every training or every mm -hmm. topic. But based on experience, it's really like a month or two. Yep. that you'll graduate so if you're like looking at this just for 15 days better arrange your schedule because we are here for the long haul <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> handhold you throughout the process and it's not just gonna be too uh, it's not just gonna be 15 days because believe me you will beg us for more time the tasks True. really yeah the task will really require you to absorb everything and practice mm -hmm. more and we do not want to rush learning so it will yeah. take really a long time <laughs> um, approximately a month or two for you to really finish the entire course and graduate and throughout those two months i will be there i will be checking your work i will be checking who is promising who has delivered um as expected and who has the best output because by the end of this training you will be creating a wordpress profile that's mm -hmm. like a collection of all the tasks that you have done um during the training don't worry about it now because that's like on the 15th day pa. so um, <laughs> that's you will be um you will be slowly Immune uh, to, the, to the stresses <laughs> of, of the training. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> eventually you will get the hang of it, of being exactly. busy and um, getting the hang of, you know, being, uh, what do you call this? Uh, a busy bee throughout this process. <laughs> like exactly. checking so many links and Going so to many. Train you to become a VA. Na exactly, yeah. Talagang, meron ka talagang job na VA because. That's the reason why we say that it's also a job experience because mm -hmm. you're going to be busy talaga. This is not going yes. to be like yung mga training training na lang na maglisten ka tapos wala kang mm -hmm. follow up na gagawin. You're going mm -hmm. to do the tasks. Yeah, True. so it's not a training. It's like treat of it as a apprenticeship. Yeah, you're an apprentice here at Virtual Lasting. So every day is like an OJT for you. Um, the moment that you submit your assignments, that's already you presenting yourself to Virtual Lasting as a viable applicant for that specific task or role. For example, for today, we are going to have lead generation. So the task for today will be part of your overall portfolio. And whenever we have clients looking for lead generation VAs, then Which if you there did is a lot. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there are a lot really. So um, if you did very well and you hit all the targets there, then most okay. likely we will be profiling you for that specific client. Okay, so just do your best for each activity, even if it's not something you're interested with. Um, I know that we're not really like jack of all trades here. We don't expect you to be the expert of everything, but just try your very best to learn as much as you can and absorb everything that you can. Because who knows, maybe you will love it eventually or the client will see a bigger value in you because you know and you were already exposed to that particular skill. Okay, so just love the process. <laughs> don't force yourself to because sometimes um, that doesn't really help. If you need to take a break, take a break. We are not forcing you to, we're not Hitler here. We're not, <laughs> we're not really forcing you to do everything every day. Um, make it something that you love doing because eventually when you get hired, you'll be doing those same tasks. <laughs> so we're already like um, sensi uh, sensitizing you 
desensitizing you for those activities so that eventually you will love them okay yeah. and um so that's my role i keep track of everyone um those who are also extra helpful to their group mates i always take note of them i put them in my notepad here and um Whenever we have like clients who are looking for those who are proactive, those who have uh, initiative, who are organized, true. right? So I already know who to pick. And those who are, um, you know, who replies a lot and who responds a lot, they are most likely to get hired. So um, just really be out there. <laughs> Don't put yourself inside a shell and think that you can do it all by yourself because this is like a community here um we are here to help you and you are here to help to help others as well right so help us help you and help others so that you can help each other out <laughs> something like that we are really um symbiotic here um so that's my role and then by the end of that i will be uh, sending a short list to the clients and then the client will um, confirm at least two people to interview with or to do a trial with and then um, after they're done with the trial and they're pleased with the performance of the VAs then that's when the the VA is finally hired so that is the entire process here um, that I'm handling so i'm so excited guys <laughs> this is like batch four now and we're really really getting so many clients left and right i've been very busy and you will meet later um two other gentlemen who is also helping us with the process um so that we can ensure that everyone is you know um everyone's needs are met and that we are also meeting the needs of the company and they will be joining us in a short while so um, welcome everyone and i'm so pleased to meet you all that's it yes. <laughs> yeah, i was looking at the chat of mimi and i'm like i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry mga labad na VA, my gosh anyway okay so um, thank you so much, Mimi and Joy. Um, you actually took off a lot of my speech, so I'm happy because you already <laughs> told them what to expect, and I really love that, so that we can continue on. And guys, feel free to like, because especially that this is not a Zoom call, we would really appreciate that you had to have, you know, some comments mm -hmm. um, here because we can see the comments from Facebook and YouTube. So just yeah. comment that we can read okay yeah so, and they can always reach us judy like right now i'm i'm even sending messages to people as we speak <laughs> that's how busy people in virtual lasting are so <laughs> don't be shy to reach out yes yeah, so we have a slack channel um and we also have youtube group right yeah so facebook uh yeah i youtube <laughs> <laughs> facebook group <laughs> <laughs> Facebook group. So um, we will all be in those groups so you can reach out. Okay. Yeah, you can best reach me out through Messenger. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, Mimi. Enjoy. You're welcome. Okay. And introducing to you next uh, um, are the subject matter experts and coaches. Um, they're actually part of batch one and batch two, and I really loved, you know, their performance. They're so helpful. And especially with when they, when I first took them on as coaches during batch three, I was more than satisfied with their performance. I was blown away and I'm very happy. So guys, um, uh, let's welcome Ursi and Neil. Hi, Ursi and Neil. Hello, Hello Judy. Hello. Good evening. So, Ursi is part of Batch 2 and Neil is part of Batch 1. And they're here. So, they know what you are going through during this training. Uh -huh. So, they will be the best people to really, like, ask, Ano ba to? Ano ba to? Yung mga ganon. And they're also, um, you know, the technical support reps of the website. <laughs> 
<laughs> so any kind of assistance they will be able to help so go ahead um Ursi, um introduce yourself and of course you know tell them about like what to expect i mean like what are your tips for the training uh, hello po good evening uh i'm Ursi dave uh galing po sa batch two so, ano ba yung masabi ko, hindi rin ako ready. <laughs> Bali kami po ni, ni Sir Neil, yung uh, magiging, ano nyo, uh, takbuhan, <laughs> at saka, ano, uh, ano ba to, palikan na, na matasan na <laughs> sa mga task ninyo. Pero guys, ano, uh, yun lang, tip ko lang po, uh, number one, uh, sa, 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 ano, sa, based on based on, based on my experience so guys ito uh, sa nung una ay bago ako magsimula guys gusto ko munang makita sino yung mga first timer na VA para mas relate tayo uh, mag type kayo ng number 1 pag pag first timer yung talagang wala kayong idea kung ano si VA si virtual assistant or si freelancing and then number 2 kung yung gusto lang mag upskill or magdagdag ng skill tingnan ko yung mga comment niyo yes uh, Number one, para okay. Para ng tip. Yes. Para at least alam na natin. Ayan, dami, dami wala experience. Ayan. So, ayan. dami. So, guys, sa lahat ng number two, uh, Congrats kasi dito talaga mas madadagdagan pa yung skills nyo. And sa mga number one naman, uh, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. Alam nyo kasi uh, siguro nung, nung time na lalo na ngayong panahon ng COVID, nakikita nyo na na parang ano ba tong VA? Ano ba tong mga virtual assistant? No? Kasi for me guys, nung nagsimula ako sa VA, as VA, dapat kasi ano, uh, I'm... Uh, IT by profession sa Wyatt Philippines. So, nung time na nung time na nangyari si COVID, babalik sana sa pagiging empleyado. And then may nagsuggest sa akin, bro, bakit di mo subukan yung pagiging VA? So, when you said VA, virtual assistant, parang mindset ko noon, ay ang nasa isip ko noon, ano, yung taga mag, magiging assistant ka from the from the root word assistant ng isang executive, uh, taga taga ayos ng calendar niya, taga ano ng meeting ano, Boss, may meeting ka na alas dos, huwag mong kakalimutan. Ah, tipong ganun. So, parang, sabi ko, parang pambabae lang yun. Ha? Parang hindi yata applicable sa akin. So, tapos kailangan maging magaling sa Excel. So, tapos paano yun? Paano, 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 paano kikita doon? Paano, paano kung halimbawa may paggawa siya, may paggawa siya sa akin ng one month tapos hindi pala sa sweldoan? So, andun yung mga agam-agam, yung mga tanong sarili ko. Paano kung ma-scam ako? Totoo ba to? So, Meron yung mga tinatawag nila magta-transcribe ka ng from from YouTube, i-transcribe mo yung ano, yung word doon, ita-type mo. So, paano ikita doon? Yun yung mga number one. Kasi alam mo naman, kaya natin papasukin ito para kumita eh. Hindi naman para lang ano, diba? Hindi naman para maglaro eh, diba? So, ando na tayo, dagdag skill. Pero guys, yun talaga number one mindset natin. Saan? Saan ako maghahanap? Saan ako maghahanap? Paano? Ah, hindi ako marunong mag-English. Guys, yun yung maganda dito. So, Dito na, magsisimula ka na mag-YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, search sa mga groups. Siguro, nakita mo si Puerto Lasting or may nag-refer sa'yo. So, yun. Yun yung maganda dito, guys. Ang number one na, na um, for me, based on experience, talagang nakita kay Puerto Lasting, guys, yung guidance. Yung kasi yung wala sa labas. Ang dami kasi dyan, eh, ma-overwhelm ka talaga ng information. Andyan yung kung paano si ganito, paano si ganito, WordPress, ganito. Tatry mo, oh. Uh, pwede ka pala maging programmer or maging uh, website developer nang hindi mo kailan naging coding or hindi, ka, hindi mo kailan naging comsci. So, papatukin mo si ganto, ganto. So, minsan guys, lalo tayo napapahamak. Uh, yung iba may nagbabayad, sobrang laki, tapos wala naman nangyari. Yung iba naman, okay lang, libre. Wala, okay lang, wala, libre lang naman. Pero guys, libre nga. Pero no, no abot ako na sayang naman yung oras mo. ba So, which is yung oras na, na yun, hindi mo na may babalik. Yun yung mas masakit doon. So, Yung guys, kumbaga, sa, sa, sa virtual lasting, from day 1 to day 15, talagang may guidance. And then, ang maganda dito, talagang nagkaroon ka ng resulta. So guys, ito, tip ko lang sa inyo. Uh, 
yung 2,000 ko kaya worth it. Yes, sobra. Sulit kung sa sulit lang pag-uusapan. Magkakaroon kaya ako ng client dito. Yes, guys. 100%. Ang tanong lang, uh, ba tawag dito? Uh, ang tanong lang, uh, applicable ka ba? Kung baga, uh, qualified ka ba na magkaroon ng client? So, paano ka magkakaroon ng client, guys? Number one, sinabi na ni Miss Joy, attitude. Kasi guys, sa totoo lang, no, nung nagsimula ako dito, ikaw ba, sir, nila nagsimula ako dito, wala akong skill. Wala akong, oh, IT, pero ang layo sa pagiging VA. Ang layo. Site administration, pero ang layo. So, andyan yung lead gen, andyan yung WordPress development, uh, yung dating social media na nakikita ko lang mga ads, hindi ko pinapansin yan. Pag nakita ko sa YouTube, skip. Pero ngayon, pag nakakita ko ng ads, hmm, alam ko na kung paano ginawa yun. Ganon pala yung mga tech. <laughs> Para nagkakaroon ka ng idea sa bagay. Guys, sa totoo lang, new normal na talaga ang pagiging VA. Kasi talagang uh, digital marketing, ano pa lang yan, nagsisimula pa lang, mas lalo magbuboom yan. So, swerte nyo kasi nakita nyo ka- kaagad siya. So, ayun guys, uh, sabi ko nga sa inyo, attitude kasi noong time na yun, wala din kaming idea ni Sir Neil sa mga ganito. And then siguro nakita lang din nila Miss Joy yung pagiging makulit namin. Eh, oh, kung tama yung word na bibo sa, sa, mga, sa mga slack. So guys, uh, dito uh, tutulungan namin kayo pero tru- tulungan nyo din sarili nyo. Kung baga, uh, hindi yung konting bagay lang na merong, merong ano sa video eh, tanong agad dito and then ba yan? tapos hindi namin nasagot kagad. So marami din kasi kayo. So hindi, actually hindi na kayo syempre sa batch street. Tutulungan pa rin namin, namin sila. So mm. parang, parang hindi pa pwedeng ano ba yun? Hindi nasagot yung ano. Ayaw mo na. Paano ba rin? Ma'am, baka nang pwedeng repad yung 2K. Mga ganun agad, di ba? So, alam mo yun? So, guys, <laughs> walang problema. Pwede, pwede. Pero sinayang mo, guys, yung opportunity. Yung opportunity na sana, hindi ka na, nag, hindi ka na nakikipag, nakikipag uh, patintero sa, sa barangay nyo para lang humingi na ayuda na kung saan i-is kaming ka lang din naman. Wala din naman i-ibig kayo yung, 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 ano, yung, yung barangay ninyo, di ba? So, dito, guys, tayo kung paano uh, paano 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 ka uh, uh, kikita paano ka kumbaga magkakaroon ka ng dagdag income so sa mga sa mga may mga trabaho na wala namang masama ano mo lang kumbaga mag, maganda pa rin yung ex, may extra income di ba so ayun guys uh, yung mga concern ko naman sa sa, sa vow or sa ano pag may mga concern lang kanila sa Slack lagi niyo titingnan yung announcement okay sa Facebook group titingnan niyo lang din yung mga announcement bago uh, tapos guys, uh, magdadag, ano, yun lang. So, uh, kita-kits na lang tayo si Slack sa Facebook group or group page. And then, uh, ano ba ba? Ayun, yung ano naman ngayon guys. Um, kung baga, so, kung mahirap lang, yes, oh, mahirap sa simula. Pero guys, ang tingnan nyo yung, yung, yung patutunguhan ninyo. Ang sarap na ngayon kasi, alimba, alimba pupunta sa kabila, daling ko lang laptop ko, pwede magtrabaho anytime. So, alam mo yon paano kung tapos na si COVID? Diba? Meron ka ng income, eh, pwede kang pumunta ng Cebu, pwede kang magpunta ng Bora, dala mo lang laptop mo, kailangan mo lang ng hotspot sa connection. Hindi mo kailangan, hindi mo kailangan, hindi mo kailangan na humingi ng leave. Tapos mo na, or 10 days, or, or magdadahil lang ka pa na may sakit ka kahit wala naman. Yung, yung totoong to, to, hangover lang pala nung private. Diba? So, alam mo yun. So, guys, eto kasi maganda dito. Kahit saan, pwede ka magtrabaho. Kung baga, ito na talaga yung new normal. So, yun lang po. Uh, sabi ko, hindi lang dapat talaga eh. <laughs> Ikaw na, Sir Neil. <laughs> guys, maraming maraming salamat ka. And God bless po sa inyo lahat. So, salamat po sa napaka ano, encouraging words from Sir R.C. <laughs> so, uh, hello po. Uh, good evening. Uh, so, I'm Neil po. Uh, from batch 1 and then I'm your support you can ask me any questions wag lang po about sa pera kasi wala din po tayo noon minsan <laughs> <laughs> so uh ang tips ko lang po uh, sabi nga nila uh, being a VA is not uh, only about the skill but also about the attitude uh, resourcefulness and syempre ability to follow instructions so makikita niyo lang po dun sa Uh, university natin, nandun na po lahat ng instructions, lahat ng training, and then be resourceful na lang din po kung minsan may mga tanong kayo, and then uh, don't hesitate to ask us, uh, Sir Ercy and me, para sa inyong mga questions. So, uh, ano po ba ang ka- kaibahan ng virtual lasting sa iba dito po, ipinapangako natin na hindi kayo maboboard, hindi po kayo nag-iisa dito sa training, uh, 
parang virtual lasting lang ang hindi nang iiwan. Parang ganun ba? Ito, <laughs> <laughs> nagsisimula na umugot. <laughs> hindi naman. <laughs> so, uh, tips ko lang din po is maging matyaga tayo sa bawat task and do our best. So, uh, hindi naman po kailangan is perfect. So, and Miss Judy, ang kailangan lang is Do your best para sa inyong mga task. So, uh, syempre, minsan may mga task din tayo na parang feeling natin is hindi natin kaya. Syempre, uh, uh, para naman sa atin, para mag-grow naman tayo, syempre, we need to go outside of our comfort zone para naman mas mag-improve tayo. So, and then, uh, last tip ko is don't stop learning. Uh, dito po sa sa Virtual Assistant University, madami na po. Madami po kayong matututunan eh. Madami pa din po kayong pwedeng i-upskill. Kayo na pong bahala kung saan kayo magpo-focus. So, uh, enjoy the training po. Uh, so, that's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Ersi and Neil. Okay. So, um, now, I will introduce later siguro si Charlene, Yurelin, and um, si Anne. But, um, So I just have some tips for everybody because, you know, I know that you're all like, oh my gosh, when na ba tayo mag-start sa first topic? But this is actually, you know, really crucial because we have a journey ahead, okay? This is quite a journey ahead. So um, I want, for me, my first house rule would be is to, I want you to look out for yourself, Okay. I know that we have coaches. We, I have, I'm here. Um, Joy is here. Mimi is here. But I want you to look out for yourself. Meaning, um, you know, be polite. It's a group, by the way. Please don't be entitled. Okay. Even if yes, nagpay kayo ng one But please, you know, wait for your turn. If you're going to be asking questions, kasi hindi naman kayo nagpapasweldo sa mga staff ko, you know, kasi mahal sila, my gosh. And of course, katulad ninyo, magiging mahal din kayo, di ba? So, but be respectful. Um, You know, another, another thing is look out for yourself, meaning if there are tasks, don't wait for people to remind you to do your tasks, di ba? Because this is for your growth. And, syempre, who's going to care if mag-finish ka or not? It should be you. Okay? We would like you to graduate, but we would really want you to um, police yourself, I guess. We're not going to be here to keep reminding you or we will not coddle you. I am not your mom. I'm not your girlfriend, I'm not your grandma, or I'm not your dog. You know, I'm not going to like comfort you, but this is actually a training. It's literally like a boot camp. Remember that I'm distilling years and years and years of experience here in just a couple of weeks. So it's not going to be an easy training. I'm sorry. It's not going to be an easy training. We will try to make it as understandable and easy as possible. But the topics are not the kind that you would say are easy. They're not like one, two, three, you know. So we would need you to be responsible. I would also need you to have initiative because... Um, If you don't have initiative, then you're not going to... Like, you really have to have that burning desire to get ahead if you want to be a VA. Because remember that the job market is very tough right now. And even when you're not yet auditioning for that job, starting on this training is going to help you be in that mindset, okay? So even in this training, have the initiative already. It's good to practice you. Next is so important, read instructions. Okay? Read and follow instructions to the letter. Alam nyo yung when we were in high school or grade school na 
sinabi ng teacher mo, encircle the answer. Tapos ang ginawa mo is, you wrote the answer sa side. So narong ka na, right? So it's just like here. One fatal mistake could be your not following instructions. And the thing about following instructions and reading instructions properly is not just in this training, but even when you are already on the job. It's so crucial to be, um, to understand instructions, to follow instructions to the letter so that you can function well as a virtual assistant. Because so many clients actually fire people who are not like, reading instructions it means that they're careless okay and next is help others as much as possible um help your neighbor so that we can all rise in this journey okay um so what exactly is a virtual assistant a virtual assistant is Somebody who, for me, this is the definition of a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant is um, a talented, smart, skilled, and professional, ethical person who works at home via, you know, the internet and helps entrepreneurs who are their clients in building their business. That's my definition. I know that there are textbook or like Wikipedia um, definitions of a virtual assistant, but for me, it's, it's all those, you know, keywords that I just mentioned earlier are so crucial because if you're not professional, if you are not um, ethical, if you're not talented, if you're not skilled, Okay, and you know, if you're not willing to help these clients grow their business, then you will easily get out of that job or like you'll easily lose your job, right? Because why would people pay billable hours if you're not going to be helpful in that particular business, right? So what are jobs that virtual assistants usually do? Okay. Just to, I know that you've already read this somewhere, but just to be clear, there's so many kinds of virtual assistants. There are virtual assistants who would function as an executive assistant, meaning they are the right hand of um, a CEO or like the business owner, you know, helping out with their calendar, helping out with, let's say, follow-ups, with emails, with communications, Maybe, you know, like, um, you know, the, the errands and stuff, you know, and more likely like a general kind of virtual assistant. Another classification of virtual assistants in this day and age would be somebody who helps with social media. Somebody who helps with social media as a VA is not just going to be somebody who you know, who will post in Facebook. Like so many people, years and years before, when I would when I would post, let's say, social media virtual assistant, so many would apply. So many people would apply. Just because they have a Facebook account, they think that they can already do social media. And that's wrong, okay? I just want to make it clear that's not what you mean by social media. Okay, a social media VA is somebody who is not just going to be able to like post appropriate content for a business, but somebody who is strategic with a marketing plan, somebody who is um, who really creates like targeted audiences, is able to identify the needs of a targeted audience, can function as a community manager, and a lot more. Of course, plus make sure to create ads accordingly. Another classification of virtual assistant would be somebody who develops websites, um, especially with WordPress, since so many of the websites are with WordPress. Um, another type of virtual assistant would be, you know, somebody who could 
assist, let's say, a, um, a YouTuber or like a vlogger. So with editing, with YouTube SEO, with community managing, and a lot more, okay? So there really are so many roles that virtual assistants can fill. And we're trying to distill all this information so that you can be very competitive in the job market. Have you noticed that because of the limitations of your skills, you find it hard na mag-apply for a home-based job, right? Like, for example, if somebody's going to mention, must know how to create chatbots, magpanik ka na, ay, wag na lang, wag na lang. Must know how to create WordPress websites. Magpanik ka na lang, ayo ayo mo na lang, something like that. Must know how to create, how to, um, how to do SEO for YouTube videos. So, magpanik ka, ay, ay, wag na lang. So then you get like filtered out. And there's so many VAs right now, even who have jobs, who are not going to be able to upgrade um, their, you know, um, their career because they don't have the skills that we actually teach at this training. So those are just samples of what VAs do. Now, to the next part, what kind of clients do VAs have? So I've actually noticed and I've really like, you know, did a survey <laughs> of this one. And I've noticed that most clients are millennials. So a millennial is somebody who was born in 1979 to 1995. Who's a millennial here? I'm a millennial. How about you? Type millennial in the comments if you're a millennial. <laughs> Isa lang ba millennial dito? Wala talagang walang imik ang mga ano ang mga batch for batch for. I need more energy. Alam nyo ba, grabe yung energy sa batch 3. Super. Okay, great. So, what are the characteristics of millennials? I, not, I needed to discuss this because... I want you to always remember this. In fact, when we're done with this training, I want you to go, like, when you're done with the uh, 18 courses that we will give, I want you to go back to this video and I want you to, like, replay what are the kind of VA uh, clients that we would have so that you'll be guided, okay? So I've noticed that a lot of our clients are millennials. Oh, we have somebody 1997, so you're Gen Z. Now, what about millennial clients? So millennial clients, I have noticed that millennial clients want shortcuts. They don't want to waste their time. They're not the kind of people who are like our parents. I mean, my parents are um, Gen Xers, I guess. My mom, oh, wait baby boomers, you know, those ages. Usually, the baby boomer age, they were the kind of people who would um, go to work in San Miguel and stay in that same job for 35 years until the retirement. But millennials are not that kind. Millennials are entrepreneurial. I've noticed that. Millennials um, value um, life satisfaction over, let's say, graduating college or, you know, being like a top executive. I'm not saying that there are no millennials who are top executives, but as a generation, they say that millennials are lazy, but actually, if you think about it, millennials are very productive because 
most of the millennials are the ones who are actually creating the productivity apps that we are using today, right? Millennials are very innovative. They're techy. And why am I saying these? Why am I saying these things? Because I want you to embody, you know, what a millennial needs. If you're a millennial, great. You would understand. If you're not, take note of it. Because you will find out that your millennial client will be annoyed if you're a bit slow to understand. If you don't know technology, that's why it's so important to learn from this training so that hindi kayo masaway, hindi kayo mabuli ng clients ninyo. Of course, we don't condone bullying from our clients. We promote respect. But if you have a client who is a millennial, it's so important to not waste time. I have my staff here. They know me so well. I'm a millennial boss, right? Ikaw, Charlene, Urelin, and Lady, anong masasabi ninyo sa isang millennial boss? Because I'm a millennial boss. I'm probably like your first millennial boss. I don't know. Go to the live stream. Okay, so what are your comments? Ninyo sa akin as a millennial boss. Baka mga negative comments lang yun, ha? Ang sakin po. Ah, ikaw muna. That's it. Napakasarap maging boss kasi una-una po, napaka-understanding niya, napaka-patient sa amin kasi po, Um, bago lang po kami sa nature ng work na ito. So, marami pa rin po kami hindi alam. Kahit na po ng training na, kailangan nyo pa rin po mag-aral na mag-aral. So, si Miss po, napaka-understanding. Uh, napaka-understanding po niya sa amin. So, um, si Miss po, napaka-sarap maging boss. Kaya, um, ano mo lang po dapat, pag nagbigay siya ng instruction, tama po siya. Kailangan, Ah, uh, susundin mo yung instruction and then um mayrita ko agad. Oh, ayun 'yun. Oh, ayun lang paulit-ulit. Ayun lang paulit-ulit. Ayun lang paulit-ulit. Oh, ayun lang paulit-ulit. Yung point niya. Yes. Diba that's why I send voice note or video? Yes. Common 'yan sa mga client na millennial din. They would send voice note saka video. Kasi ayaw nila pa ulit-ulit. Totoo yan. Oo. Okay. Ikaw, Charlene, anong mga observation mo? Ako naman po, uh, <laughs> bilang millennial boss po si Miss Judy, talagang nakafocus po siya sa details. Kaya kailangan din po ikaw as a VA, yung details ultimo kahit maliit na bagay ay kailangan mapansin mo din, huwag kang una, maunahan ng boss mo. And <laughs> si Miss din po ay, ano ba, yun nga po, sabi po ni Miss, nagsisend po siya ng mga voice notes, minsan po nagsichat siya, minsan po kinakabahan na po kami. Kasi po, wala po, wala na po. Actually, training ko talaga sa kanila na meron talagang times na super strict ako na, ano ba to guys? Para hindi na mm. maulit. Maulit, na, yes. Oh, po, pero in so, fairness, bonggang-bongga ang team na ito because Once I gave the instructions, if merong mali, hindi na yan mamali until eternity. <laughs> <laughs> yan po. Uh, pero pag si Miss na galit, hindi niyo po halatang galit. Kasi parang yung kanyang approach din po sa inyo ay malumanay pa din. Kaya ay, hindi po. Man. Opo. <laughs> kaya hindi po siya katulad nung ibang dating mga boss po natin na kapag galit-galit po talaga. Wow. Si Miss, meron pa siya mga words of encouragement para yung mali mo ay hindi mo na maulit pa. Yan po. <laughs> really? Alam nyo, nightmare ako na client and nightmare talaga ako na boss before. Ang daming <laughs> naglayas. Yung mga, pero I was younger that time kasi I wasn't used to having employees. So I will explain that later. Okay? I will explain that later. 
Ikaw naman, lady. Sa akin naman, kasi yung last job ko, nasa bar ko kasi, so usually yung mga amo ko, matatanda na. So iba yung ugali nil, uh, nila compare sa yung miss. Kasi ikaw, I mean, before you, bago mo kami papagalitan, i-explain mo muna kung bakit, kung bakit ganyan, kung bakit ganito. Yun ang maganda sa yung miss. Tapos, uh, nakikinig ka sa amin. Kung anong suggestion namin, Dap- oh, tapos sabihin mo, guys, ano to? Ano dapat gawin? Which is, maganda kasi, miss, kasi usually, yung old boss, yung matatanda na, kung, matanda. kung, anong, gusto, oh, kung anong gusto nila, yun yun. Baduy. <laughs> oh. Mga baduy diba? na mga logo. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh. yun yun. Eh, sa'yo, miss, which is, ang, mag- ang isa kasi magandang uh, ugali sa isang amo is yung makinig ka sa staff mo. Hindi ka dapat uh, close-minded, dapat open-minded. Which is, yun ang nagustuhan ko sa'yo, Miss. Tapos, yun, yun, yung sabi nga ni Charlene. <laughs> yung pag alam namin, ay, nagalit na si Miss. Parang, <laughs> ay, nagalit na si Miss. Ay, nagalit na si Miss. Alam nyo naman ako, hindi naman talaga ako galit. But, gusto ko talaga na oh, i-point out. Hindi, hindi na maulit. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, mm-hmm. ganyan. Pero hindi talaga ako nagagalit. Ang ang annoying sa akin, no, is if magalit ako parang five seconds lang. Oo. 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 Five seconds. <laughs> five seconds lang. Pagkatapos sabi niya, oh, ano na mga, ga- ano, ano na girls? Ay, hindi na galit. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> talaga ako galit actually. Pero gusto lang na ano. Ay, by the way, I would like you to meet Lady Charlene and Eurelyn. Guys, um, you can also reach out to them. They're also in the chat. Okay? Introduce yourselves, by the way. Tapos, ano yung tips ninyo? And then we can, we'll proceed later. Ah. Hi, guys. I'm Lady Anne. So, galing ako sa, uh, sa batch 2. So, I'm the video editor. Tapos, mutulong din ako sa graphic design. Kasi dapat, apat kami, eh yung isa nag-maternity leave. So, tatlo na lang kami ngayon. <laughs> So batch, my, uh, two lang, batch two lang, uh, batch two. Batch two kami lahat. Yun nga, sabi ko, my first job is as, as a seafarer. So, wala akong kalam-alam dito sa, uh, sa freelancing world. Wala talaga. Hindi ko nga alam paano ang chatbots, pa, ano, ano ang chatbots, ano ang lead generation. Hindi, wala akong alam yan. So, swerte din ako kasi nakatraining ako kay Miss, which, which is, ang dami kong natutunan talaga, guys, for 15 days, which Yung unang araw talaga, dalawang araw, one week, mahirap talaga siya kasi wala kang alam eh. Yes. Pero, through hard work and eagerness and dedication mo sa pagtitraining, natututo kayo. Hmm. Yun lang talaga. Mm-mm. Dapat concentrate kayo. Hindi yung sa isang, ito, ah, ito first day ko, ah, gusto gusto ko, then the next day, ayaw mo na. Then third day, ganito naman. Diba? Dapat consistent kayo. Uh, consistent kayo matuto. Yun lang talaga. Kasi Tapos, di ba parang related din yung mga lessons? Mm-hmm. Sa, may may related. Parang hindi naman siya prerequisite talaga na parang mm-hmm. sa school. Pero somehow parang related sila. Mm-hmm. Oo, kasi yung training mo miss, nagko-connect-connect kasi eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya, so the next day, the third day, after maybe fi- uh, after 15 days, Ang dami niyo matutunan. Hindi kayo magsisisi talaga. Even me, I don't know how to do uh, how to do video editing. At Pero ang ganda na, ang ganda na ng mga edit ni Lady no. <laughs> Iba bongga. Bongga talaga. <laughs> Parang pro na siya, Miss. Then you learn video <laughs> editing. <laughs> o di ba? Gusto na din niya graphic designing na. <laughs> o di ba? Oh, learning. I'm learning. <laughs> Tapos, magtulungan kayo, guys. Uh, kung ano man ang mahirap, magtanong lang kayo. Yun lang talaga. Huwag kayong, don't pretend na you know, you know everything. Magtanong kayo talaga, guys. Yun lang talaga ang key. Tapos, positive lang kayo. Huwag kayong susuko. And lastly, good attitude. Huwag kayong pasaway. And follow <laughs> instructions. Yun lang. Diba? Follow instructions. Alam nyo why I'm so strict sa follow instructions? Kasi 
many, many times, babalikan talaga ako sa mga client. Tapos sinasabi nila, alam, your your BAs do not understand instructions, yung mga ganun, naiirita talaga ako. <laughs> so that's Kasi why... Diba, mm, diba, Miss, in order for you to succeed, just follow instruction. Yun lang naman eh. Kasi... Mm, yun lang talaga ang parang pinaka, ewan ko, um, basic sa virtual assistant. Oh. Follow instructions. Yan lang. Good luck sa inyo, guys. Ha? Kaya nyo yan. <laughs> okay. How about you, Rilin? Hi, I'm Yurlin and I am the communications manager. And kung po yung nag-send ng mga emails sa inyo, uh, halos everyday nag-send ng email. And ang um, masasabi ko lang po na tape sana ano, i-maximize nyo yung research skills nyo. Kasi talagang, yun ang kailangan na kailangan nyo. Kailangan mm -hmm. magaling kayo mag-research. And yun nga, yung follow instructions. Kasi, minsan po, yung simple instruction na hindi nyo masunod, so magagalit na sa inyo yung client nyo. So, dito pa lang po sa training, kailangan i-practice nyo na yung pag-follow ng instruction. Kasi, kapag nasanay kayo na na didepende kayo sa iba kagad, eh, ang VA, lagi kang mag-isa lang eh. So, dapat, you are very skillful sa pagiging, sa pagiging magaling sa pag-research nyo. So, dapat, um, gawin nyo muna, i-maximize nyo sa sarili nyo, and then, kapag hindi na kaya, so, tsaka lang kayo hindi ng, tulong sa mga kabatchmates nyo and then kapag wala pa rin tsaka kayo pupunta kay Sir Neil and kay Sir Worsi tsaka sa amin. So yun po ang pinaka-important things since nga sabi ni Miss uh, dapat uh, matuto tayo sumunod sa instructions and ano po and sana uh, kahit na matapos yung training hindi naman lahat ng ano mamamaster mo kagad. After the training dapat ano, aral ka pa rin ng aral kasi napakarami po nang dapat na pag-aralan sa pagiging isang VA. Hindi natatapos. And lagi na dadagdagan. So, yun po, dapat aral kayo ng aral at maglalaan kayo ng oras para matuto everyday. So, yun po. Sana, huwag kayo susuko. Good luck po sa training. Thank you, Yurilyn. Okay, ikaw, Charlene. Hello po sa ating mga batch 4 at sa lahat ng ating mga viewers. So, ako po si Charlene, ang digital marketing strategist po sa Judy Rallius TV. And ako po yung responsible sa YouTube SEO at sa posting po sa mga social media sites ni Miss. So, ang tanging tip ko lang po ay just enjoy the training. Kasi kapag nag enjoy ka, hindi ka makakaramdam ng hirap, ng pagod, ng pagsasawa sa lahat ng mga gawain gagawin ninyo. Pangalawa is time management. So, mahalagang mahalaga yung time management, lalong-lalo na at dumagdag itong training sa lahat ng mga gawain ninyo. Alam naman natin na hindi lang tayo yung patenga lang, mayroon tayong mga gawain na iba pa. At ito ay hindi talaga masasayang ang oras mo dahil may mabuti itong madudulot sa dulo. And may naituro din si Miss along the training na pinaka-effective strategy sa time management na alam naman namin na talagang makakatulong dahil ngayon po ay ina-apply na po namin. Effective so, talaga, Charlene. Opo, Miss. Akin po, dahil na po. Ano po, that today, kasi... Ayun. Ang dami kasi yung mga tasks for the next couple of days. So, I will teach Apo. it today. Okay? Apo. So, yun po. Tuturo mamaya po ni Miss Judy in time management. And panghuli po, ang isa sa mga pinagmamalaki po ng virtual lasting ay ang aming support system. Huwag na huwag po kayong mahihiyang magtanong. Lalong-lalo na po sa ating mga trainer, si Sir Ercy, si Sir Neil, Miss Mimi, Miss Joy and po si Miss Judy. Lahat po yung mga yan talagang sasagot po sa inyo. Ulti po po madaling araw, gising na gising po sila para lang po i-entertain po yung mga questions ninyo. So just enjoy the training and I hope po makita ko po kayo sa graduation po ninyo sa batch 4. Congratulations yeah. po in advance. Yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Thank You're you, welcome, Lord, Charlene. Si Charlene uh-huh. yung, ano, yung valedictorian ng batch 2. Mm. So, Thank you, <laughs> okay, thank you, girl. Okay. So I um so another like hallmark um I noticed that a lot of hallmark um what's this characteristics of millennial bosses is that they don't want to waste time. Like, have you noticed that they're the type of bosses who would say that, like, this should, like, you know, the kind of people who would look for shortcuts. Um, so what this means is that if you're going to be a pencil pusher, what's a pencil pusher, by the way? And I hate that. I hate that a lot. I've been, um, you know, I've, I have a lot of employees. Okay, and I've been a boss of hundreds of people. So I know what a pencil pusher is. I don't know if you are aware. Maybe that's you. But a pencil pusher is somebody na, for example, I online, online kasi ako na work. So nobody's going to watch me, right? Tapos your, your client's going to say, oh, gusto ko na... Um, maglegion ka, you will reach out, maybe prospecting na mga clients. You have the entire day. Tapos, ang ginagawa mo is, ay, later na lang ako mag-prospecting, mag, uh, mag, mag-Netflix muna ako kasi merong bagong, merong bagong ano, it's okay na to be okay, I will watch it. Yung mga ganon. Tapos, isang episode lang. Tapos, after nyan, ay, second episode muna, tapos I will continue. And then, you know, you you lose sight. Tapos, nakaran na yung yung software na supposedly for productivity mo. So, it means, you know, for me, a pencil pusher is somebody who's pretending to be working, but they're not really working. So, yeah, maybe you won't be instantly fired. However, I noticed that eventually, if you're going to be that type of person, you're going to be fired because millennial bosses are very, like, strict with productivity. I know that I am. In my end, I am because it's so important that billable hours are not wasted. I am not, though, like, I I, I don't want micromanage people because... I have too many employees to be a micromanager. However, I don't like it when, let's say, for example, I am paying you a full salary or your client is paying you a full salary, but then for the whole month of September, ang nagawa mo lang ay five Facebook posts. Maganda ba yun? Hindi naman, di ba? So, productivity, guys. That's why I will teach you that productivity hack later. But I just wanted to say that millennial bosses, it's a big deal for us and for your clients. Ayaw namin ng mga people na, let's say, for example, pinas, pinasulat ka lang ng, uh, let's say, email reply sa isang client uh, isa isang customer ng client mo tapos it took you 2 hours na mag-reply ng email in email lang yan di ba you can just reply in 5 minutes or 10 minutes you know hindi siya hindi siya man yan habit pero para siyang yung yung tao ba na um like for example I'll give you a good example. Let's say you're working. I know that you've done this in the past because I've done this in the past. You know, I'm not going to be magmalinis right now because I've done this. Have you noticed na, let's say for example, you're working in an office. You're expecting to like function. Let's say you're a marketing officer in an office. Tapos, 
expected na maka-clock in ka ng 8 hours. So, I'm going to go there to the office. Mag-clock in talaga ako. I will open my apps. Pero, nakatext ako sa boyfriend ko. Tawag-tawag. Yung mga ganun, mga, Hi babe, lunch na you. Yung mga ganun. Yung mga kakornihan na yan. Tapos, exchanging photos, pa selfie selfie yung mga ganon. But of course, tapos, if your boss will pass by, ay, back to work. Meron it gagawa-gawa. Tapos, balik na naman. So, all day long, yung nagawa mo, it's not really marami. You would, maybe you would say something vague na, um, posted on social media, pero actually, yung pinost mo, it only took five minutes. So, yan lang gin ginawa mo. Like, pero ipalabas mo yan sa, sa productivity report mo. Pero actually, you were not really doing something that was substantial for your billable hours. So, that's what I mean, right? Is it justifiable if you are paid a full salary tapos nagpost ka lang ng quotes na kinuha mo sa Google? Yes or no? My cat is like, crying is it is it a yes or a no for me it's a no and if you're not if you're gonna do that to a millennial boss it's a surefire way that they're going to contact virtual lasting for a replacement okay so we don't want that okay it doesn't mean guys that you're working from home na mat matutulog ka on the job because nobody is going to pay for you to sleep on your bed okay Nobody's going to pay you for watching Netflix. Nobody's going to pay you for watching YouTube. Nobody's going to pay you para magmukbang. Nobody's going to pay you para mag Mobile Legends or mga ganon. Okay? This is a real job. Okay? Okay. Another um, observation that I have noticed about millennial bosses is that they love chat. They don't like, have you noticed, ewan ko, I'm a millennial myself. Ayaw na ayaw ko talaga na somebody's going to randomly video chat or video call me. Parang naiirita talaga ako. Or, if okay lang naman na merong video call, pero dapat merong nagsasabi sa akin or and i've noticed that also like random phone calls i have noticed that a lot of millennials do not like phone calls i don't know if you can relate to that but in my end i can relate to that i don't like phone calls a lot um i guess because we were born or we were kids or teenagers at the time of text Right? And so, why don't you just text me? <laughs> Yung mga ganun. So, just a tip. Clients love chats. That's the reason why your client will probably communicate with you via Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or Viber or Slack. Okay? So, don't barge in and don't call them at on you know at at like you know dawn or something be very conscious about the time and when you will call them and then ask in advance if you could call them unless if it is really an emergency okay if it's an emergency like there's an emergency go ahead and call okay but like randomly just calling your client five times a day kasi meron ka lang mga question na, Sir, pwede ba magtawag tapos na tumawag ka? It's not good, okay? Alright. Um, another, uh, another observation of our clients, a lot of them, I mean, save for the fact that we have like the coronavirus right now, Nobody's traveling, but a lot of our clients are digital nomads, are travelers, world travelers, people who are operating their business purely online and are, you know, 
um, always overseas. But recently, they're more stable at home <laughs> because of COVID. Some of the clients are even stuck in other countries. Um, what else? So I would like you to research also characteristics of millennial employers. I want you to embody that, okay? Because we still have more topics. And we've already like taken almost two hours. What kind of VAs are clients looking for? So take it from me because I am... I'm a boss myself. I'm not just a VA. I actually spent more, I've been spending more time as a boss more than a VA. And I can really tell you what bosses like, okay? First of all, first of all, we really need VAs who answer text, messages, email, chat, okay? If you're not going to answer your boss, might as well don't work, okay? Like for example, it's not acceptable if yung client mo nag-text sa'yo, tapos replyan mo, let's say, nag-text sa'yo 7 p.m. And let's say, let's say ha, that your work shift is 2 p.m. 2 p.m. to let's say, uh, wait lang, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tapos nag-text sa'yo, out of your work hours na 7 p.m. Meron lang question. He can see that you are online. It's not acceptable, guys, na 7 p.m. nag-chat siya, tapos next day, 2 p.m. mo pa i-answer. Why is that? It's because you don't know what kind of concerns are needed, okay? So, please naman, this is not about like, I guess, be very, uh, yung, have, have you noticed na yung, if tatawag ka <laughs> sa cellphone, tapos the subscriber cannot be reached. Yung mga ganon, that's so annoying. So make sure that you can be reached. Okay? Because primarily, why are they um, hiring people online? They want to make sure that they have somebody who can be reached. That's a deal breaker. If I'm going to hire somebody who doesn't answer me, let's say if meron akong question na chat, tapos i-email the next day, parang red flag na yun. Tapos I'm gonna like, it feels kind of disrespectful because I feel like I am not being acknowledged. But also, it makes me think that this person is not concerned about our productivity and our speed. And thereby, maybe I can you know, hire somebody else who is more efficient. So it doesn't mean naman, guys, like for example, in my end, there are really times when I have this brilliant idea. And usually my brilliant ideas are at dawn, like mga 2 a.m., yung mga ganon. So I send a chat to our chat group, but it doesn't mean naman that they will have to do it. They will wake up and just do it. But, you know, I need some acknowledgement as soon as they are awake now, oh, okay, yung mga ganon. Acknowledgement lang, guys. Hindi naman na, okay, I will do it immediately. Okay? Is that understood? So, number one, be open for communication. Be easy to reach. Don't be so elusive when somebody's trying to contact you. Because if you're gonna act like a hermit then you better not be a virtual assistant because it's not gonna work for you clients are gonna hate working with you and it's only going to cause problems okay number two clients really appreciate 
um, people who are proactive. What do we mean by proactive? Somebody who sees a problem and offers to help, okay? Or thinks of the solution or, you know, has some suggestions. The beauty about working with young, younger bosses and not like the really ancient bosses like mga 80, 70, yung mga baby boomer din, is that because somehow you're closer in age, a lot of these bosses are very open to suggestions. I personally love it when my staff would give me ideas like, Miss, alam mo, nag error kasi yung website because ganito. Because heavy yung parang mga, um, heavy yung mga, let's say, whatever that I installed in that website. Okay? And so I would just, and then they have a suggestion. So be the kind of person who is valuable, not because of, you know, just being like a worker bee and a sheep, but be the kind of person who has, you know, input and also has the willingness to move. Let's say, for example, nakita mo na yung co-worker mo naghihirap na sa mga ginagawa, are you just going to watch? Are you just going to watch them? Offer to help. Don't wait for people to, you know, um, die of exhaustion. Be helpful, okay? And if you see your client struggling with, let's say, something, and then you don't have a lot on your plate, be the kind of VA who offers to help. If you have those characteristics, your client is really going to appreciate working with you, okay? Because I don't know what's happening these days. So many people are so allergic to volunteering. And then I notice that there are so many people who are mediocre with their work because they are so freaking afraid that merong mga instructions of mga client they just want to chill but then those are the kind of people who don't really get ahead they're not the kind of people who don't get bonuses or a raise and so you don't want to be that kind of person okay um another is uh, another characteristic that clients are looking for somebody who is respectful and knows boundaries. What does that mean? It means that you don't overstep your role. Hindi ka maghari-hari. Let's say, for example, you're a team and you're not really designated as a team lead. Don't load, don't lord over, you know, your other co-workers. Yung mga ganun. Um, also, make sure that you are allowed to do certain things. Like, for example, don't make changes on the website or any processes if you're not in authority to make changes. Respect boundaries. Don't say things to the customers if it's not, you know, in the proper instructions of your client or in the interests of the business. Don't just make up things because it's not your business. You need, even if you have the creative capacity to think, but make sure that you ask permission. It's so important to be respectful. Filipinos are known to be respectful. So let's make sure that we represent our race accordingly. Okay? It doesn't mean that we're going to be like shy and, you know, parang magpabuli tayo, but... We have to be respectful, okay? We have to be, meron tayong initiative, but respectful. Is that understood? I'm not seeing any, like, new comments in the chat. Another characteristic that is so important is, um, is being organized. VAs are supposed to be organized. So, for example, and along with being organized, is you must, um, let's say, remember your schedule. If you say that you're supposed to, like, do these 
um, deadlines that you're going to meet those deadlines, right? And, you know, don't be messier than your client. So, for example, if your client is messy, you're not supposed to say, you know what, my, my client is so messy. Hindi niya marunong, hindi siya marunong mag-organize. Of course, because it's your job, right? I have seen, oh my gosh, recently, it really, you know, annoyed me that there was a VA who was complaining that the client was not organized. Tapos, nabi ko talaga, isn't it your job to organize the processes of your client? Maybe you can create um, processes in place and make suggestions so that you can work accordingly. Make yourself useful. That's it. Make yourself useful. Okay? And on the, like, um, while I was also saying that, we do not want VAs who are complainers, okay? Do not complain unnecessarily. I've noticed that complainers are usually the people who do not succeed in life because they think that they are victims of all the circumstances in life. Remember, guys, that when you are complaining, it's such a futile act because you cannot really change other people. You can only change yourself and your perception of things and also your reaction to things. I myself am not a complainer. If there's something that I don't want, then I will go ahead and make changes according to what my goals are. So let's say, for example, if, you're, if, if your client is, let's say, ewan ko, like, daig mo pa yung customer kung mag-complain, edi syempre, you're gonna be fired. Am I, am I right? <laughs> you know, because I've noticed that clients really get so turned off if purus ka na lang reklamo. Let's say you're going to complain na, ay, ang haba ng ginagawa ko. And then the next day, ay, para kaming walang ginagawa. You know, instead of complaining, all you can do is say, Hi, let's say your client is Judy. Hi, Judy. I noticed that I don't have a lot of tasks for today. Um, what can I do? You know, B, stop complaining. Stop yourself when you're about to complain. And instead, think about how can I become a useful member of society? How can I be useful to this client? And how can I reframe that complaint into something that is productive okay that's so important guys because i would like to remind everybody that even if virtual lasting exists and we really take care of our vas here but if for example yung client mo ayaw sayo definitely wala kaming choice we will have to replace you so sayang naman right Although we have a good, like a really good success rate, um, like I think this year we only had one, uh, I think two replacement VAs so far. That's the success rate of our training. I'm so proud of that because I know that in a lot of companies that's not the same because We've really trained our VAs from inside and out, not just the skills, but also the attitude. So I don't want to see complainers here, okay? Totoo, ikaw na lang kaya mag-boss if always ka na lang mag-complain, okay? Gawa ka na lang ng business mo, tapos huwag ka mag-hire ng mga tao kasi tapos doon ka sa bukid, yung ganun, okay? And then next is, most one of the most important guys it's so important to be punctual okay punctual early okay if for example meron kayong meeting ng client mo let's say 7 30 a.m be online by 7 a.m 
Kasi if 740 uh, kasi if 7:25 pa magboot up pa yung computer mo, tapos i-restart mo pa yung router, tapos ma-freeze pa yung Zoom, tapos yung mga ganun, tapos malate na malate ka na. So I've noticed that people who are on time and are early even, they have their life together. I've noticed that. Usually people who are on time and who are early even Usually, it resonates in other areas of their life. They're organized. They have their life together. They know how to pay their bills. They're the type of people who, who you know, who can be trusted with their word. So one indication for us, if you are not going to be somebody that we can trust with clients, is if palagi ka na lang late, if palagi ka lang may excuse, if, for example, i-interviewin ka, you promise na, Oh, yung interview natin 1 p.m. Tapos hindi ka mag show up, mag ghost ka. So we know na that you're not really that professional, right? Or childish. Kaya hindi masyadong mature or hindi ka ready maging successful. Yung mga ganun. So guys, important talaga show your clients what you've got. Make sure to be professional. Make sure na when you are showing up to the world, hindi mo easy-easy. Ah, kasi home-based lang to. Easy-easy lang. I-chat ko na lang, baka ma-late ako ng 30 minutes. Yung mga ganun, no. It's not allowed. Because you know what? This is still a job. It's still a job. Even if it's a home-based job, it's still a job. In fact, it even pays more than a lot of jobs in the office. So better give it justice, okay? Better give it justice. When you go on a meeting with a client, aside from the fact that you go early, make sure that you are dressed well. I'm not saying na magbarong ka, okay? But siguro naman hindi ka mag... Siguro maligo ka. Especially if like, ang dungis-dungis mo. Joke lang. <laughs> but make an effort. Like, ako personally, even when I really have an option na, edi ayoko maligo, ayoko maligo. Let's say. <laughs> Grabe naman. Ayoko maligo. <laughs> but let's say, meron talagang times na tinatamad tayo. But you know that when I go on a meeting with my team, even if I'm the one Paying my team, I make sure that I dress well. I don't just wear my duster. I don't just wear my duster or yung mga, mga dirty clothes or mga clothes na like meron mga butas-butas. Make sure that you're presentable. Put on a little bit of makeup if you're a woman, if you're a man. Make sure na presentable ka. It really pays if maligo ka because I noticed also that when you take a bath before your shift, you actually are ready to conquer the world. You're more productive. You're more woken up. Kasi if hindi ka naligo, like you're gonna feel like uh, inaanto ka pa, yung mga ganun. The beauty of also, you know, being early, 30 minutes, is you can already, like, take your favorite cup of coffee. You can have your cup of tea, right? So, those are just my very important tips. I would like you to take note of that, or you can also always, like, um, replay this. These are just my general tips. Because I don't just want you... I, I, I shared this on the very first meeting, like today, because... I already want you to embody that during the training, okay? Because I want, hindi na, I want na, hindi, uh, let's say, after na na magka-client ka, na mag-practice ka to be more professional. Dapat starting now. You have, you know, be in that habit. Be in that frame of mind so that you will be um, ready for success. Most likely, you will be the one, like if I really noticed that for the people who present, um, you know, their excellent attitude towards the activities, they're usually the ones who get hired. 
immediately, even before the graduation. So be that kind of person. Okay? All right. So, and what do clients hate? Okay. So yung mga opposite na sinabi ko, let's say, latecomer, my God, absent. If, if sasabihin mo na, yes, I will be on Skype at 9 p.m., tapos wala ka sa Skype, tapos na-ghost ka, auto-fail na yan, a lot of clients would even say na, Judy, let's just change this VA. I didn't like it. He didn't show up. Yung mga ganun. If merong no-call, no-show sa ano... Um, sa call center, meron din ganyan sa VA world. Okay? If you did not, like, you know, if you're a no-show to your shift, that's a no-no. Because you have to think about this, that your client, your client's business does not stop whenever you feel like going on absent. Diba? Ay, kasi magtatagay kami ng mga friends ko. So, so, saka na lang yung shift ko. Yung mga ganun. Tapos, hindi, tapos nalasing ka na, so you were not able to show up. It's a bad impression. And please do not do that. Okay? Because that is a surefire way that you're going to be replaced. You're going to be fired. And in our end, we wouldn't want to recommend you again if you're going to do that. Okay? What do clients hate? People who don't follow instructions. People who, um, let's say, for example, if ang client mo has a particular way of doing things, tapos gusto mo talaga, feeling mo na mas magaling ka talaga, it's okay, by the way, to give suggestions. And you can say, you know, this worked for me. Maybe you would like it. But don't force it. If they really have their particular way, just follow it. Anyway, business nilang yun. Okay? You're being paid. So, wag ka na lang maging hero sometimes. You know, some people just don't appreciate our efforts. <laughs> so, don't be the kind of person who is going to like, you know, do your own thing if it's not the one that's that your client is asking for. Another thing is, um, being an overall hostile person, like for example, um, let's say, yun, yung bad attitude towards the job. Um, if you have a bad attitude towards the customers of your client, okay, of course, rudeness is not tolerated. Another thing, guys, is please, when you are working, wherever you are sa buhay, don't come from an energy of entitlement. Come from an energy of gratitude. Okay? Remember that even if gano ka ka smart, gano ka ka talented, but remember that everything that you have, whether you have a job and you're given that job, do not ever think that it was your right. Remember that it is your privilege. Because God could always say, you know what? Pangit ang attitude mo. Bigay na lang natin to sa mga hindi marunong masyado. Because I personally, I don't hire people na sobrang feelingera, na parang super entitled. I if If I would choose somebody between an entitled person versus a person who is humble and willing to learn, Yung entitled person, talented. Tapos ang isa is willing to learn, pero um, humble. Tapos yung attitude, maganda. I would choose the maganda attitude. Because skills can always be learned. Do not think that you are super special that you cannot be replaced. That's the key to not be replaced. Okay? Because if you have that attitude... You will build resentment with your clients, even with your employer, also known as us or another agency maybe. And we don't know. If, for example, marami kang, you know, masalgasaan, 
it's very valid to fire you over attitude. Remember that. Because overall, nobody wants to work with somebody na pangit ang attitude. Okay? So, you have to learn. You have to really learn. Okay? Another thing that um, really grinds our gears, somebody who is lazy, cheating on the time. I recently, I think, oh, not recently, last year, I fired somebody because I found out that the whole time he was working in my office, he would just look if ando na ko sa room. If ando na ko sa room, he would pretend to be working. Pero if hindi ako nandun, so he would sleep. So the whole time, he was sleeping and he's paid like 25,000 a month. Yung mga ganun. Can you imagine? So, of course, you know, we were able to track that eventually. Especially right now, we really have people who track productivity that well because because of those experiences so if we're going to catch you and you know if your clients in general if you're going to be that kind of person you can expect that you will not last in your job okay clients don't like that nobody likes that really nobody will want to like pay for you to sleep i mean ang suerte mo naman right um, okay. By the way, lastly, I wanted to describe, I wanted to also make it clear that a lot of clients, you know, aside from that, they are millennials. A lot of them are, you know, first time entrepreneurs. A lot of them are like, not really, na, uh, I'm not saying that. Okay, some of them are first-time entrepreneurs. Some of them are like, yung mga baguhan pa sa pagiging businessman, like maybe two years, mga three years, yung mga ganun. So, I have noticed that a lot of these clients don't have their, I guess, leadership and attitude. Um, siguro, because I really can say that being a boss takes so much inner work. I mentioned earlier, di ba, kasi, um, I mentioned earlier, kasi sinabi ni, nila, um, nila Yurilin, nila Lady, tsaka ni Charlene, magaling daw ako, or like, um, maganda daw ako katrabaho. But I wasn't always like that. Before, I usually, I can say that, um, when I can say when I when I started out as a boss, I was very young. I was, I think, 22, 22 years old when I became a boss. And because I was very parang um, self, parang uh, ini naman self conscious, like I felt insecure. Because I know that I'm so young and a lot of my workers and my employees were older than me. I felt so insecure. And so I had a tendency to not have the best attitude because I, instead of being nice and instead of being respectful as a boss, I thought that being a boss was like, don't do that. You want get on? I still have, because um, I'm an ENTJ and I'm naturally a commander na pagkatao. But I was extremely difficult to work, work with before because siguro I'm a newbie. Yung ganon. Usually, a new entrepreneur and especially somebody na first time pa nag-hire ng mga tao, a lot of entrepreneurs have control issues. I want you to know that. Because if you really want your job to flourish, I guess, and, you know, the relationship to work out, I want you to understand that we have the, if you want it to be successful, then you have to take it upon your hands to be willing na hindi naman magpa 
okay? For us, that's a no-no, okay? But be willing to work the relationship out. How many dito na nakinig na, like, have you heard this complaint before na, ah, nag-quit ako sa trabaho yun kasi hindi sila marunong mag-manage yung mga ganon. Comments, please. I need some comments. I really need your participation. Who here have witnessed that? Are people still listening to me, though? The last comment was three minutes ago. I'm not going to continue until there are like comments. Okay. Guys, please be participative naman. Kasi it's so hard to be discussing and nobody's like, you know. Mm. Yes, you've heard that, right? Like for example, usually um usually sa corporate world ang dami natin i have i have witnessed that in the past wherein um when i was working i was so entitled sinasabi ko na nagquit ako sa job na yon kasi hindi sila marunong magmanage ng mga tao pa tapos when i became a boss hindi pala din ako marunong magmanage ng mga tao. Kasi I was so young, right? But it's no excuse. I want you to understand everyone that there is no school, there's literally no school on how to become a good boss. You just have to learn from the years of experience. Like, to be honest, I'm really happy now because um, I didn't have these kinds of like experiences. Like, to be honest, guys, ha, huh? I have such a good ex I have such a good relationship with my employees right now. I'm not saying that it's perfect, okay? Because I still have my lapses. I'm still, you know, I still have like, for example, um, what are my mistakes? I'm so lazy <laughs> sometimes. Also. I'm very frank and I'm not very like super gentle. However, I have a better experience now with my VAs and my employees and my admin staff compared to years and years before. Because when I was younger, alangan, of course, I don't know how to manage people. And so I want you, and with this in mind, I want you, if you really want to succeed huh, in your VA career, I want you to be empathetic to your client. Kasi yung client mo yan, sometimes they're so pressured. Alam mo ba how hard it is to be in business? Magka-capital ka, meron ka pang taong sinisweldohan. Tapos, you don't know when it will work out. You don't know if meron kang pangbayad ng rent tomorrow. You don't know if meron kang pangbayad ng sweldo tomorrow. It has to work out. So the pressure is really intense. Okay? And when you're new at the business, and especially a new um, employer, you don't know how to be a boss yet. You don't know how to act. And the last thing that you would need is somebody who's going to say, you know what? Ang... Um, you don't know how to manage people. Yung mga ganon. Kasi, ikaw, have you been a boss ba? And how, and do you know how to manage people? Because let me tell you, it's a lifelong journey. It's a lifelong, ewan ko, it's, it's every day I learn something new when it comes to managing people. I learn every day that I hindi pala, that wasn't a good thing to say. Or, ay, ito pala ang effective. I try my very best because I have a good experience with my VAs. 
it doesn't mean that I always had good experiences in the past. Because I had to do my own inner work. I had to do my own, like, I had to quell so much of my inner demons, my depressions, my insecurities about life in order for me to be a better boss, you know, the version that I am today. I'm not saying that I am perfect. In the future, I probably would be better, hopefully not the worst version. But I want you to understand that your clients need your empathy. Sometimes we're lucky to have clients who have great personalities and are natural like leaders. But I'm going to just say this to you. There's no natural leader. You really have to have experience. So maybe even if it's their first time as an entrepreneur, but maybe they were a politician or maybe they were like a leader of some sort. You know? So I want you to understand that. And don't approach clients that, ah, hindi siya marunong, tapos you're going to be the nega person. Instead of doing that, I want you to embody your role and be that helper. And really just, if you can see na nag-struggle yung boss mo, you know what? The surefire way na ma-fall talaga yung client mo sa'yo at hindi ka nabibitawan is to see that, is to see that because that's in their shadow, right? That's in their deepest insecurity. Especially yung mga boss na super strict na, eh, hindi nyo yan pwede, hindi yan pwede, eh, ganun. They have fears. Usually, these negative emotions come from fear. And the way to really, like, engage with that kind of client is to be the kind of person who offers stability and offers help. So be the kind of person who would say, I see that you are worried or like, I, I'm looking at you and I see that you're really tense. How can I help? Yung mga ganon. Don't be the kind of person na, you know, sometimes when clients are not having the best day, tapos nagdadabog, don't be insulted because it's, it's usually not about you. Okay? I'm not saying naman, no, na you will tolerate being, you know, disrespected. But don't be too touchy. Okay? Kasi yung pagka-touchy mo, yung, yung pagka parang ma-pride mo, tapos feeling mo na dapat, you know, everybody's like walking on, on eggshells around you, it's gonna leave you jobless. So you have to be more tolerant. You have to be like, think about it like, is was that about me or not? And usually it's not about you, okay? Usually it's not about you. So be the kind of person who would say, oh, I noticed you're not having a good day. How can I help you? Or do you want something? I know that you're feeling really frustrated because I can see it. How can I help? Be that kind of person. And I tell you, 10 times out of 10, okay, maybe 9.99 times out of 10, <laughs> your client would appreciate it, okay? Instead of, nagdadabog yung client mo kasi, kasi of something else. Tapos nakita mo, feeling mo naman na ikaw yung parang target. Tapos at the end of the shift, nag-render ka na ng resignation. Tama ba yun? Wag naman. Okay? Don't be the kind of person. Especially in this job market right now, we need people who will be strong and who will have, you know, um, the self-awareness na to conquer these things. Because we're not always going to have clients who are perfect. A lot of these clients don't know how to be a boss. Be, you know, uh, I guess, if your boss can't be the perfect boss, at least be the best support and then they will learn from you. I have witnessed this myself. 
in my end, I have actually worked with so many people of different personalities. In my end, it was so helpful that I um, discovered how to set my boundaries, but also I always know what to say to offer help. You know, it's really just about reframing things. Remember that it's not about you, but in the end, you want to be that helpful person in the organization. Okay? All right. So, um, okay. So now that we are done with that, I just want to teach you a productivity hack because I want you to proceed with lead generation. Okay. It's so important that um, we did this introduction because we want to make sure that you understood what you're in for and you and you understood what kind of clients you're going to be expecting. But, um, okay. I, run, I wanted to discuss one last thing, which is my productivity hack, okay? Who's ready to learn about productivity? Because you're going to need it. You're going to have so many um, activities. You're going to have so many activities and you're, you're going to have to like um, be able to withstand everything. Okay. All right. So my first and foremost rule, number one rule, huh? write this down. Write this down. There is no such thing as multitasking, okay? There's no such thing as multitasking. Multitasking is not effective, okay? Multitasking is not effective. Who here wants to, wants to um, refute that? <laughs> Why is multitasking not effective? Because usually... When, um, when you multitask, let's say, for example, nag-Netflix ka, tapos gumagawa ka ng article. Matatapos ka ba sa article mo? Or makakatulog ka na lang, kakawatch ng Netflix after 10 episodes, wala ka pang two paragraphs. ba? So, what I'm going to say is, first and foremost, learn to have that discipline to focus on one task before proceeding to the next. Okay? In fact, it's so important to have proper prioritization and to do that task, to do that task, and when you're done with it, that would be the time that you will graduate to the next task. Okay? Am I understood? So let's do a sample. Okay, so I'm going to show you. We're going, I'm going to explain. This is a many, like, it, this is a combination between using a Trello board and using the calendar block. Okay? Yes, because when you're multitasking, oh my gosh. Like, in kahit, no matter how smart you are, but if you're multitasking, most likely you're not going to get ahead. Hala, ang ganda ng moon. Ganda ng moon. <laughs> like, for example, have you noticed those people na, let's say, I don't think that my company would be a success that it is today. I'm not saying that we're the most successful company, but I wouldn't be able to say that this company would succeed if we didn't focus on doing this business for 10 years, for nearly 10 years. Although I can also say that because of my other distractions, meaning I also have my other commitments, 
I also have other businesses na hindi naman naging effective or naging profitable masyado compared to like, you know, this business. But it only worked against it. Like we would have grown the business more had we focused more, right? Remember that we only really have one brain. You can actually um you can actually multitask certain stuff like for example ha only really mindless tasks ang pwede na mag multitask ka like for example um my personal favorite is listening to a podcast or listening to let's say um listening to an audiobook while I am cleaning. While I'm washing the dishes, I'm cleaning, let's say, naglalabada, yung mga ganon, or like, I'm scooping the litter from the litter box for my cat. I would like to listen to some music or, you know, to a podcast or a book, right? Or yung... I can watch Netflix maybe while I am exercising, like, you know, doing weights, maybe, right? Or maybe resistance resistance bands. Puede, right? But definitely, I cannot watch Netflix while I am talking to a client, right? While I'm on a meeting with my clients. So... Don't, uh, there are limitations really to multitasking. Usually, you can multitask like mga leisure activities with a really mindless task like washing the dishes. You can. But other than that, speaking on the phone while driving a car. Ako personally, to be honest, I'm gonna say this. While I'm driving, I can, um, talk to somebody while on bluetooth but it freaking distracts me like sometimes especially like i even at one point in my life i diverted all my calls to my assistant because i hated having to answer phone calls while i'm driving because sometimes it can really like cause accidents i don't know like for some reason especially like for really long drives and then what if it's an emotional, emotionally charged phone call? So it's not very, you know, good. In my end, I can listen to music while I'm driving, but I'm not very good at like answering business calls while I'm driving. I hate it. I hate it. I don't know. But some people, they can really do it. Um. Okay. So anyway, with that being said... In order for you to be efficient with your tasks, I want you to learn how to do a brain dump, okay? So let's do a brain dump. I'm going to get a piece of paper because I love I love doing brain dumps on a piece of paper. But you can also do it on Trello if you want, okay? So let's, I'm going to show you how to do a brain dump. So in my end right now, in like, okay, I'm going to give you real tasks that I need to do. So, okay. So invoice clients for this week. Okay. Uh, look for the nearest laundromat i'm so tired of this covid thing because the laundry people in the basement they're not yet back to business so i'm like okay <laughs> and then um what do i need i need to wash the dishes it's so hard to live alone guys nobody washes my dishes but me yeah, this is a brain dump. Like you dump your brain. Okay, everything that I need to do, I'm going to dump it. Okay, 
And then next is I need to. I'm I'm actually writing. And then next is um, throw the trash. Okay. And then what else? What else do I need? Okay. Talk about strategy to admin team. Meeting with Judy Rallius TV team. I'm so hungry. Why? <laughs> 11 na kasi. I'm sorry. Brain dump. Brain dump. Like literally, brain tapos dump. Throw tapon. Brain dump. Okay. And then um, maybe I also want to, what else? What else do I want? Uh, let's see. Um, meet a friend. Meet a friend for lunch. And then what else? Create um, design, uh, create ad collaterals. So in my end, okay, you see the piece of paper. It's so bright. It's too bright. Can you see it? Okay, so, so in my end, I really like to use a piece of paper. And then what I do is I have like different colors or you don't have to have other colors. But personally, I love to classify these stuff based on priority. So... There are different kinds of classifications for, you know, your, um, your, your tasks. So first, you prioritize, is it urgent or is it not urgent? So let's say invoice clients for this week. Yes, it's urgent. For me, it's urgent. What constitutes an urgent? For me, you know, there, we have different kinds of urgent. Like, for example, some people, urgent sa kanila yung paglinis sa bahay. Sa akin naman, hindi naman na super dirty yung bahay ko, pero hindi masyadong urgent. Para sa akin, pera ang urgent. <laughs> yung ganun. Okay? So, in my end, if it's money impacting, oh my gosh, go. It's urgent. Okay? What else? Look for the nearest laundromat. It's not urgent, so I'm not going to label it as urgent, okay? And then wash the dishes. Well, for me, it's urgent because, you know, baka, baka magka pests ako dito, tapos throw the trash, urgent ito, okay? Talk about strategy to admin team. For me, it's urgent. And then... Meeting with Judy Rallius TV team, it's important but it's not necessarily urgent because I still need to create a strategy so I won't label it as urgent, okay? Meet a friend for lunch. It's not urgent, diba? I'm not going to die if we're not going to meet. In fact, dahil COVID, maybe I should eliminate it, right? And then create ad collaterals, Okay. It's important, however, maybe I can delegate it, okay? So, next is, I'm going to label, is it important, okay? So, let's say, for example, invoice clients for this week. So, I'm going to label it urgent and important. Cook, uh, look for the nearest laundromat. It's important, but it's not necessarily urgent. Wash the dishes. Okay. 
it's urgent also important so, and also throwing the trash talk about the strategy to admin team it's urgent and it's also important because you know we need to strategize meeting with judy Rallius tv team it's urgent it's also uh it's not urgent but it's important and then meet a friend for lunch. It's not urgent. It's also not important. Okay, so XX. And then create ad collaterals. It's important. However, you also have to ask yourself, can I delegate it? Okay. Like, for example, look for the nearest laundromat. I can actually delegate this as well, right? So in my end, I would label A as in urgent and important. B is um, important. C is uh, not urgent, also not important. Deleg uh, D is delegate, and E is eliminate. Ay! Oh my gosh. You can just, like, do it as you please. In my end, I'm going to rank the following. So, for example, your invoice client is an A, Okay. Look for the nearest laundromat. Okay, that's a B. Ah, actually, I can delegate it, so I'll just put it as a D. Wash the dishes. It's an A. Kasi wala kong choice. Ako lang mag, ano. Throw the trash. It's an A. Talk about the strategy. It's an A. Meeting with Judy Rallius TV team. That's a B. Meet a friend for lunch. That's not urgent and that's also not important. So that's a C. Maybe because it's COVID, I can also label it, label it as E. Diba? Eliminate it because maybe we'll just have a Facebook call, right? And then create ad collaterals. I'm going to delegate it. So it turns out that the remaining tasks, the remaining tasks is invoice clients for this week, wash the dishes, okay, throw the trash, talk about strategy to admin team, meeting with Judy Rallius TV team, and then I delegated look for the nearest laundromat and also create col ad collaterals. And then I also meet a friend, ang yung meet a friend for lunch, in-eliminate ko na kasi ayaw ko na mag-meet kami because of COVID. So out of the, how many tasks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Out of the 8 tasks, I only have 5 tasks remaining. So now, out of those 5 tasks, you have to rank each one based on priority, okay? So obviously, yung mga nasa A, yun ang top priority. So because meron tayo, dapat gawa ka ng tiebreaker. So invoice clients for this week, wash the dishes, throw the trash, or talk about strategy to admin team. For me, important na I will wash the dishes first. A2 is throw the trash. Kasi I will not, I will be bothered if I start invoicing clients tapos ang dumi-dumi ng bahay ko, right? The next is I'm going to invoice the clients for this week. So A3. Pero ba yan? Ay. A3. And the next is talk about the strategy strategy to admin team because it's gonna take uh quite some time so that's going to be my a4 okay tapos b 
tsaka CDE na ang iba. Okay? So now, because, okay, are you still catching me, guys? Are you still catching me? I really would recommend, no, na you really take time to do a brain dump na hindi ganito lang. Kasi alam ko na mas marami pa kayong dapat gawin. Really take time every week na mag-brain dump kayo. Tapos, yung lahat ng mga things, i-translate mo na sa paper. Or, you can use Trello if you want. Tapos, para ma-schedule ang lahat. Okay? All right. So after that, when you're done with this prioritization, okay, when you're done with it, and then it's already ranked, so A1, A2, A3, A4, you have to promise yourself that you're going to do your first A1 task before doing the A2. Now, I know that we have uh, favorite tasks, right? Like for example... If meron tayong mga to-do list, usually, we're the type of people who are going to say na, I, I will choose my favorite task. Let's say your favorite task is wash the, uh, let's say, okay. Um, your favorite task is, let's say, um, what's my favorite task? Let's say my favorite task is writing the topics for my vlog. But then, I have an urgent task, which is to invoice clients. Sometimes, sometimes, ha, it's actually a form of procrastination if we choose to do different things instead of, like, for example, instead of doing your top most important task, we procrastinate by making, like doing another task, which is not that urgent and not that important at the moment. Why do we do that? Because we're overwhelmed. Ay, ayaw mo maningil. Something like that. Ayaw mo maningil. Parang uh, nakakabahan ka, yung mga ganun. But then, I have heard this so many times by success coaches that the most successful people eat the frog the earliest time of day. What do we mean by this, eating the frog? Eating the frog means that you do the most difficult task of the day first. When you do the most difficult task of the day first, which is usually huh, the most important and urgent, you will be able to breeze by the day easily. Madali na lang. Compared to, you're going to procrastinate on the little things, tapos, maa-anxious ka kasi it's getting nearer and nearer, maningil ka na ng mga tao, yung mga ganun. Yes, by Brian Tracy. Yep. So, I have... Ito talaga yung super life hack ko. Okay? Now, how can you really get in the mindset na super fast yung ginagawa mo? Okay? I would like to say that I use this method to build four websites in one week. Can you imagine? Four websites in one week. And including the content, including the design, including like everything. What did I do? I'm not a he's superhuman, but I I ranked everything. I don't skip my task if I don't finish it. And most of all, I time myself. Okay? I time myself. This is my handy dandy timer. It's so useful. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Lol. But you try this. Like, for example, let's say invoice clients for this week. 
Okay? Maybe I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to invoice clients. Okay? So then when I do that, okay? See? The turn red shy one ko. Okay? Can you hear it? It beeps. So, diba? So, when you time yourself, wala kang choice. Wala kang choice. You have to do it. Okay? And, usually, di ba kung maningil ka, parang, ang dami-dami po ng mukhang iniisip, parang, dear diary, parang mga, dear charo. <laughs> Yung mga ganun. Pero, you know what? If you time yourself, Let's say, meron mga tao, mga limang tao na may utang sa'yo. Actually, ang laki na ng 15 minutes. Kung pwede nga, 5 minutes. ba? Pero syempre, you know, to give yourself some time, 15 minutes, commit that you're done, okay, at 15 minutes, is so it will push you to send that immediately. Right? To send the chat na, huy, magbayad ka. Right? Your balance is 35,000 magbayad ka blah 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 bayad blah 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 something like that okay so you time yourself for each task okay that's one of my best best tips let's say oh after let's say na, natapos na ako mag-invoice ng client so balik by the way oh nabili ko to i think Shopee Lazada i don't know it's somewhere, but it's so useful. It's a kitchen timer. Have you heard of Pomodoro technique? It's kind of the same. Um, you, if you don't have a timer, you can use your phone, but it's not as effective. Mas maganda talaga to, kasi if you use your phone, the tendency is you're going to look at your phone, tapos mag chat chat ka, tapos mag Instagram ka na naman, tapos mag story story ka, tapos you're gonna look at the stories, tapos you're gonna stalk your crush, yung maganon, de ba? So, it's not going to keep you on task, right? I'm teaching you these things so that you can be a superstar na VA. And not just a VA, but as an overall productive person. There's so many people who tell me like, wow, how did you really like, how did you build your business na mga ganyan? Number one, I delegate, okay? Number two, I'm not overstressing myself, but how do I exactly do it? I know what I need to do that day, and I just time myself. And instead of working 16 hours, maybe I just work four hours because I'm on task. That's it. I'm finished. Okay. I can sleep now. Okay. So, next is let's say, look for the nearest lawn row mat. Hindi yan five minutes, mga two minutes lang yan. Pero for the sake of it, i-timer ko. ba? Mm. Tapos, diretso ka na mag-google. Oh. Yung ganun. Kasi, if you're not going to be using a timer, the tendency is, okay, magre-research ka daw. Pero ang nangyari, instead of research, ng YouTube ka na. Tapos, meron kang pinapanood sa YouTube. Tapos, nakalimutan mo na nang, you're looking for the laundromat. Yung ganun. ba? Sometimes, procrastination na yung research, research ko no, na nangyayari. Hindi na siya research, guys. Procrastination na siya. So, when the timer is setting off, you're supposed to be done. So, imagine, with just 20 minutes, you're done. I, I delegated it pala. Okay. So let's say wash the dishes. I've also noticed this. If wala akong timer, guys, oh my gosh, washing the dishes, maybe it will take me whole day because I'm just like, most of the day, I'm just gonna look at it and then like, oh my God, it looks so disgusting. I don't wanna wash the dishes. Oh my gosh. Tapos I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down and then I'm going to like, Start texting. Oh, I, 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 
Ang ganda ng story, mga ganun. I relate. Okay. Yung mga ganun, ay may merong bago sa Netflix. Nakalimutan ko na washing the dishes. ba? Diba? Pero, if I'm going to say, I'm going to finish washing the dishes in 15 minutes, ba? Diba? I'm gonna be done washing the dishes. Right? Timer, guys. Super duper life hack. Itry mo. Feeling mo talaga para kang superwoman. Superwoman talaga. I created... I, I'm gonna say this, ha. I don't work eight hours a day. I honestly don't work that much. And personally, I get things... I'm not gonna, like, get all the the glory because I'm very good at delegation. I hire people, okay? But so many people would think na in order for you to become a successful entrepreneur, blah, 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 I'm not saying that you're not going to work because I also don't believe that people... You know, like, I also don't subscribe to the fact that people would say, oh, it's just a four-hour work week, like, four hours lang talaga in that week na nag-work ka. No. Of course, you need to grow your business, and there needs to be done. But in my end, all my client calls are scheduled, okay? And I have a designated time that I'm going to do my client's client calls. Meaning, beyond that, I'm not going to do client calls. I can do whatever I want. Um, for my tasks, I have I, I do them at a specific time. Some people would think na, oh my gosh, she's so lazy. She's just, I don't know, sleeping all day, maybe like watching TV and all that. But I'm really actually very on task because that's my time. Okay. And instead of like using, you know, instead of like using Eight hours of that day to do all of these, I'm able to do it, let's say, in two hours, three hours, diba? So don't, like, and yeah, you mentioned discipline. Yes, we need discipline, but because tao tayo, I cannot rely my rely on myself for discipline. I need something like I need to trick myself to be on time on certain things, to be on task. So that's why a timer is so good. If you don't have a timer, you can use the timer on your computer or a timer on your phone in the meantime. Try it. It will really work. Especially when you are on task. Like for example, if you want to clean that whole, like, let's say you want to clean the bathroom, it's a very annoying task, right? You don't want to clean a bathroom. I hate cleaning the bathroom. But I have a small bathroom. If I'm going to say that I'm going to clean the bathroom without the timer, maybe it's going to take me an entire day to do it. What I'm going to do is, I will pour the Zon Rocks first, or maybe like yung bleach, something like that. Tapos I'm gonna leave it. Tapos matulog muna ako. Tapos afternoon, nag dry yung Zon Rocks yung maganon. I'm gonna pour some water again. Tapos, no? tapos mag scrub, scrub. Tapos may tumawag. Ay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to that person. So it also is important now when you're doing a task. Mag do not disturb ka. Okay? Be focused. Do not disturb. Do not answer those notifications. Notifications are not your friend. <laughs> okay? A lot of times, you know what? My most productive time ever, I actually um, I actually removed my Facebook app and my Instagram app on my phone. It was so good. I was like that probably that month probably set me up to earn millions on that year when i did that that one month that i did that it's so effective i'm not kidding so you have to trick yourself to be on task okay 
Also, when you have recurring tasks, make sure to calendar block, okay? I'm going to show you my calendar. Hang on. Don't judge me. So let's say, okay, let's say, okay, so what is exactly a calendar block, okay? Okay, so for example, um, I want to, let's say, dedicate my exercise time during a certain time. Let's say exercise. So what I'm trying to say is you schedule a time for yourself, okay? For example, find the time. Okay, discard. Let's say exercise. I will exercise maybe six. Oh, wait. Let's say 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then you just put it daily, something like that. Okay, so you make a schedule for yourself, put it on Google Calendar, and then you use your timer along the way. So like, for example, let's say um, you want to, let's say a recurring task would be is to, after your exercise, maybe uh, you want to, maybe you want to, like maybe the first tasks of the day, you want to answer emails. So maybe emails, um, add time. Maybe time for emails would be, let's say, 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And then I will repeat that. Uh, weekly, I oh, know, weekdays, and save. See? Then maybe I only, because you know what, guys? It's so toxic if, let's say, for example, unless if it was like emails na work-related for your client na mismo, but it's not also very healthy na all the time ka na lang mag-check ng email because it's also not going to be efficient for you. So maybe you can schedule times that you will check your email maybe three times a day. So maybe I'm going to do 10 a.m. Um, it's 1, 1 p.m. 8.30. Emails. And then another time, I'm, I want to check my emails at 6. Maybe I want to do that by 6 also. So I repeat it every day. So see, when you are very organized, so then let's say... I want to go to that date. I want to go to that date. Wait long. Okay. So on that particular date, I would already have my timer in place. Okay. So that I can follow accordingly. Right? 
So that's called um, a calendar block. Are you learning something? This is just the productivity, guys. Hindi pa tayo nag-start sa mga skills. Okay? So you can make use of a calendar, make use of a list, and then you take your list and you also schedule it on your calendar. Like, for example, another way that I can be very productive is, for example, meeting with Judy Rallius TV team. So I'm going to go to my calendar and I'm going to schedule it when we're going to have a meeting so you can set a meeting. Basically, you set a meeting for yourself so that you are able to make time for the things that matter. In fact, if gusto mo na, let's say, for example, if you're so stressed out, ay! Sorry. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sorry. Mm, what happened to this? <laughs> Sorry. So, sometimes, let's say, for example, you're going to say, I don't have time to go out with my friends. Then you can set an appointment on your calendar for yourself okay so that you you're able to do the things that you love to do even your hobbies you know i personally have days wherein let's say my sunday is my strategic planning day my monday are my meetings for my different teams tuesday to friday i have a lot of client calls and I also have like, you know, I also like um, Fridays, I'm also going to like uh, ask my team what's going on, stuff like that. Um, Saturday, I try my very best to not do anything on a Saturday. Instead, that's my self-care day. If I want to be lazy, I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to watch Netflix. I'm just going to order in. Nobody's going to like, I'm not going to be guilted into doing something, something like that. So that's how you, um, you can be productive and, you know, live your best life, I guess. Okay. So I'm equipped. I'm, give, I'm giving you these life hacks before we start, you know, with the actual not training. Okay. So we've gone so far. It's already 12 midnight. And we still have the lead gen training. I think it's not very, it's very short, actually. Um, I will just teach you on this, I know, huh, on this call, because supposedly you can actually like look it up. I really wanted to do the first session live, but the following days, you can just go to um, Virtual Assistant University. And you can actually look at the topics there. The videos are also there. And then the live stream is at 9 p.m. Okay. Oh, by the way, okay. Does anybody have questions? Anybody has questions about, you know, what I thought so far? Ang dami nating na-cover na parang mga random. It's not yet the skills, but, you know, like the preparation. I also have a calendar sa iPad lang po. Due dates, grocery day, etc. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Um, okay. So, the methods that I just taught you is going to eliminate that need for discipline. Because let me tell you guys, I'm the laziest person I know. I'm super duper lazy, okay? Sa katamaran ko, guys, kaya kong matulog for one week. Totoo yan. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I-challenge niyo ako. <laughs> but um, I am able to get things done and to run a business because I focus on what matters. I delegate the rest. I eliminate Okay, I schedule things. And if it's not on my schedule, I'm not going to do it. Okay, because it's so important also that other people respect your boundaries and respect your schedule. If somebody calls me at an ungodly hour, 
and I did not expect that call, I'm going to reject it. Not because I don't have time, but because I respect myself. And I'm going to say, like, for example, I'm going to give you an example, ha? Let's say randomly, pumunta yung mga friends mo sa bahay mo, tapos magtagay daw, let's say. Tapos hindi nila alam na may job ka, nag-online ka na pala. Learn to say no naman. Like in my end, if I commit that, yun talaga yung gagawin ko, let's say, hindi yan day, kasi meron talaga akong schedule eh. So, based on my schedule, Saturday lang ako pwede na mag-party-party, let's say. So, if may mag-aya sa akin na Tuesday, sasabihin ko, hindi ako available. Kahit available naman ako. To discipline myself so that I don't just do random things in my life. I do things with intention. Okay? Alright. So, now let's proceed with lead gen. Okay. So, let's try to make this as short as possible this lesson on legion okay but you can also like look at um virtual assistant university and it has the lesson on legion but anyway okay what is legion what is a uh, legion data mining so data mining is so important for a lot of businesses okay mr d do you have any time of day or night where we don't answer any email or message at all okay to be completely honest, okay, yes. Um, for example, merong mga times though, okay, eto. If ang mag-reach out sa akin is si Joy or si Mimi, because for me, my business is so important for me. Um, if mag-reach out si Mimi at saka si Joy, anytime talaga, if I am awake, syempre, I'm not going to, you know, wake myself up para lang mag-answer ng mga chat. But if I am awake, I will answer Mimi and Joy. But let's say, for example, mga boylet lang or mga, mga friends, I'm not saying na hindi important ng friends, but um, for friends, for let's say mga chit-chat or mga ganun, usually, um, if for me, unless if like super BFF ko, I will always answer kasi, you know, I like to answer. But um, it's important to set boundaries. Like, I honestly have a do not disturb. I honestly put my phone on silent. If it's not my Lazada or Shopee delivery, my gosh, it can wait. <laughs> but if it's my Lazada and Shopee delivery, of course, I'm going to like, you know, answer it and I'm going to say, yes, I'm available. <laughs> but otherwise, if it's just random, I would really say, um, did you schedule a call with me? Can you go to my calendar? Because it's also... Um, you cannot uh, live your life based on other people's schedule. You have to also respect yourself so that you don't spread yourself thin. Especially that you want to be productive, you want to do that. Okay? All right. So, um, so let's do lead gen. Okay? This is the first lesson. Lead gen um, in terms of data mining. So what is data mining? It's important for companies to do data mining activities because it is a form of sales activity, okay? So let's say, um, let's say your client is, um, let's say your client is, um, let's say your client is a loans company and who wants to loan out money for people who like who wants to maybe your company is like a real estate loans company so perhaps your client is going to say na oh okay so i want you to research on real estate developers in New York. 
something like that okay so data mining is simply like for example if your client is going to say data mine data mine something blah 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 okay so let's say your client is going to say i need 100 developers in new york so what are you going to do of course google is your friend okay i know that this sounds so simplistic but trust me in this this is the first activity and the first lesson that we do not technical because it is actually the most common task probably all clients will need it at a certain point and we will give you tips on how to be fast okay your timer is your friend okay because if you don't use a timer again you're going to be caught up in researching and researching and researching and not doing anything really so okay so with that being said let's say for example okay let me share my screen let's say i'm looking for real estate state developers in new york okay so see you can you can even see it there is an actual list okay oh ito lang one two three four syempre marami real estate developer di ba so in my end baby i'm gonna go to the listings i'm gonna go to the places so maybe i am going to what we will ask you to do is to create a spreadsheet Google Sheets. So this is the first activity. But just follow the activity in VAU. But this is a sample. Okay? Hindi yan. So usually when you're data mining, you're gonna... It's a leads list, basically. So, real estate companies, ah, developers. I mean, developers in New York. And then, and then you're going to say, um, Okay, company name, and then phone number, email address, maybe they have a website. And address. Okay. So it's as simple as can be. So for example, for here, let's say Ackerman development. So copy paste. Let's say I Mm -hmm. So the address is eleven five three Broadway. Mm -hmm. I'm 
which is their phone. Hey. No way in. Okay, that's it. Then let's say their email. Okay, so how do you find out their email? Is it here? Okay, it's not here. So you're going to, let's say, go to their website. And let's see, that's their website. You just... Like it here. And then most likely their email is here. Okay. Maybe you can look at their LinkedIn. And you can actually also get um, their LinkedIn accounts. Okay, page is not found. Wow. Hmm. Instagram? So it's somehow like you're stalking. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so you, they don't have their email. They don't have their email here. So instead, if they don't have their email here, maybe you can just like get their contact page because it will be routed. Okay. Essentially, a lot of clients would then ask you, Okay, so I'm reading the comments right now. Um, yes, first job that I had virtually was researcher and data entry. Yes. Okay, why are we doing this as a lesson? Okay. We're going to do this, but we're going to ask you for a requirement. Okay. We need 100. Now, we want you to do it. Because it looks so easy, but let me tell you, it's so boring, maybe for other people, but you have to find a way to entertain yourself. Maybe you can play music while you're doing it, but it's such a common thing, and it's the most basic task. So at least your first task is still so easy. Can we use Excel rather than Google Spreadsheet? Use Google Spreadsheet, please, because um, we would rather receive your entries via link, okay? Because Excel um, is not, okay, um, it's not cloud-based, so we prefer that you use Google Spreadsheets. Parang data entry, pwede po ba sa Google Maps hanapin? The point is, you have to be resourceful, okay? So, if it works for you, di ba Google Maps ka? My part-time po akong ganyan, tapos 2 pesos per valid row bayad nila. Mm, okay. Ayan na pala. Kailangan po ba complete info? Like, what if wala po contact number or kulang po ng email address or wala pong website? Included po ba yun or hindi po pwede? Okay, you have to ask your client if ganyan, but try your very best to fill the entries as much as possible. 
be resourceful. Yun. Looks very simple but exhausting and you need to double check the exact info. True. Okay. Is there a shortcut for data mining? Example, you need 500. Hey, hey, just a question lang po. There are actually scrapers. Okay. Um, it depends if your client will uh, provide you with a scraper. But what we're going to do is something manual so that you will get used to it. Okay. All right. So, um, anyway, okay. So, I will then forward you to Ursi. Ursi, are you still there? I can see your name here. Hi, Ursi. Yes, ma'am. Dito po. <laughs> okay, so ikaw na mag-assist sa kanila if they have okay. questions. So in my end, um, I'm so sorry. This is such a long session. Usually the first day is a long session. It really is. But um, in the future days, it's like shorter, but and you'll focus more on the activity. Okay, so Ursi, take it away. Um, I will just exit the live stream. Okay. Ayun, sige po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you. So, ano ba yung mga questions? Guys, yung may nagtatanong kayo na kung kulang ng email uh, o kaya ng contact po. Usually sa website, uh, ano nila, uh, meron yung info at support yun yung kadalasan na nilalagay ng mga webmaster sa website nila. And pag halimbawa wala ka talagang ano, wala ka talagang makita. Ang dami naman diyan eh. So, wag kang wag kang magpahirap na hanapin talaga. Next, ganoon lang kakabilis. Ganoon lang kadali. Kumbaga, nagsabi kayo na yung uh, ano daw sabi niya, exhaustion. <laughs> Totoo, talaga RIP yung ano mo diyan. <laughs> yung mouse mo at yung daliri mo sa copy paste. <laughs> Yang yang legend niya isa sa pinakamahirap. <laughs> so talaga sa lahat ng course yun ang pinakamahirap din. <laughs> yung ano lang talaga copy paste. Pagkakulang ano lang uh, hanap ka ng iba. Kasi guys, eto ah, yung mga task diyan uh, Hello po. Ah uh, yung mga task diyan ano. Uh, tingnan niyo yung ano. Huwag niyo isipin na parang ipapasa niyo lang yan for the sake of task. Lagi nyo isipin na yung task is for client. So, yun yung lagi yung number one para makita namin kung talagang, uh, kung baga, paano ka magiging, uh, ano yung magiging edge mo sa mga classmate mo or paano ka magiging top one, top ten, or, or ma-shortlist agad nila Miss Joy. So, do your best. Dapat lagi mong, lagi nasa mindset mo is, uh, uh, hindi ito para sa task, kung baga, para ito sa client. So, pag nambawa, Uh, uh, sa, sa, tanong mo sa sarili mo paano kung what if wala pong client ay wala pong email tanong mo kung, kung sa tingin mo matatanong mo ba yun sa 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 client mo di ba so supposedly kasi pinagawa sa ni client yan uh, ibigay mo yung task mo i-deliver mo ng tama so parang kumbaga ang hirap naman na parang every time na na sir uh, okay lang po ba walang email yung iba di ba parang ano sasabihin ni client di ba Binig binigay ko pa sa'yo. Sige, ako na lang hahanap. Parang ganun, di ba? So, ayun. Uh, ayun po. May mga question pa ba? So, oh, sakit sa reason. <laughs> Yung pong pagsasubmit, guys, eto, number one po. Sir, kahit anong country. Yes po. Kahit anong country po. Number one, guys, sa so, vow natin, paano gamitin si vow, lagi nyo lang titingnan yung site home. Doon kayo titingin ng course ninyo. And then, Uh, pag wala kayong, halimbawa, wala yung legion sa inyo, site home and then enroll me. Okay? So, yun yung en enroll me. So, ano po yung, anong basic info sa kailangan spreadsheet? So, nakakolum siya. Uh, name, email address, contact number, uh, website. Yun po. Website address nila. So, sir, any, any tips po for faster? Meron po, pero ano, uh, may mga bayad. May mga bayad talaga yung iba. So, yan din yung naisip ko nung una agad. Talagang 100. So, ang ginawa ko, talagang nag-research muna ako ng, ng lead gen, alam mo yun, mapampabilis. So, kaso may mga bayad talaga yung iba. Anong country po gagamitin namin? Kahit alin po. Mm -hmm. Tapos guys, tip ko lang sa inyo para hindi kayo nahirapan. Gawa ka ng marami ng bawa, bukas kayo ng maraming tab. Tag-10. 
Yun yung ginawa ko dati kasi na-encounter ko rin dati yan. Nagsusulat na ako, tapos din nakita ko, ay walang email, ang hirap. So parang, ano, parang ang hirap ng buhay ng 100. So ang ginawa ko, hanap ko ulit ng country, then, na nakita ko na 100 na kompleto na, dun, dun, na ako nag, dun na ako nag-encode. So, ayun siguro, pwedeng kasama sa tips for faster research yun, ayun. And then, may mga question pa po ba? So, siguro, kita-kits na lang po tayo sa Slack kasi alam ko, gabi na rin yung iba dyan and for sure, yung iba dyan hindi pa nakapagtanong ngayon kasi hindi pa nila na, nabubuksan yung, yung vow siguro. Pero yun po, uh, tip number one, um, sana mas maganda kompleto. Kung hindi, wala kang makita. Next, hindi lang isa na po yung ano. Pero need po yung reality developers. Opo. Ay, you mean yung ano, yung, uh, yung mismong pangalan? O ano po, yun po yung pinaka-name eh. Yun na po yung pinaka-name. So, kung may, kung may agent, mas maganda. Ilagay mo doon. So, guys, yun doon lang kasimple yung, ano, yung task. Uh, ako si client, uh, hingi ako sa'yo na mga data mining ng mga infos na kumbaga pwede kang, kumbaga, nandun ka sa research eh. So, mayroong, ikaw yung nasa research team and then bibigyan mo limbawa yung task mo kay, kay marketing team or sales team. So, isipin mo guys, uh, bibigyan mo ba sila ng info na hindi nila mahanap? So, yun. Kumbaga, dapat pag nakita na list mo, pwede nilang matawagan, makita na website, makita na nilang, ay, pwede nilang email. Ganun lang. So, one po si... No, hindi na po kailangan i-check. Hindi nyo po kailangan i-check. Hindi nyo po kailangan i-check yung number. Ah, uh, guys, uh, for me kasi, bak- uh, kung halimbawa, re- uh, re- uh, real estate ka, ba't ka maglalagay ng maling number? di ba So, ano yun? Uh, okay na yun. Tama yung number. Minsan po ba may additional si client na dapat i-message yung... Hindi po. Ano na po yun? Guys, lead gen is uh, focus lang po siya sa pagkuha talaga ng infos. Data mining. So, kumbaga, pagkuha ka lang talaga ng information. So, yung pagdating sa mga pag-email na yan, ibang ano na naman yan. Yung mga ibang team or ibang... Kumbaga sa atin, parang ibang course. Yes po, yung mga nasa task is na... Ay, yung po mga details is nasa VAW naman. So, VAW guys is tinawag nating VAW si virtual uh, assistant that university ka, tinawag nating VAW. Ayun ha. Then, mixed country po, pwede or one country lang po. Uh, mas maganda sana guys kung isang country lang kasi uh, pwede na... Actually, pwede nga na eh. Pwede, pwede naman isang country ng VAW, lalo sa US. Dami naman guys, isang... Sa isang state pa lang, napakarami na. Minsan, hindi lang 100 ang makikita nyo. So, una, una nyo muna yung quiz. Kasi quiz is for the ano. Uh, siya yung magbe-base sa'yo kung talagang, at least ikaw, pwede mo kasing retake yan eh. Dati kasi kaya nauna si, si, si quiz sa amin sa batch 3 para makita talaga namin yung attendance. Kung baga, uh, sino ba talaga yung, yung uh, nasa, nasa live, Sino ba talaga yung nagbubukas na ng vow? O sino ba yung mga nasa kantin? Ayun. So, baka, alam mo yun, uh, oras na ng klase, nasa, nasa kantin ka pa. Kasi ngayon, guys, yung batch 4 naman, uh, mas ano sa inyo, umaga, wala, nang, wala nang ganan. Kasi na-experience namin sa batch 3, ang daming napag-iiwanan. Uh, walang, uh, nagkakaproblema sa internet, nagkakaroon ng, ng emergency, nagkakaroon ng problema sa, sa family. Broken heart <laughs> Sa heart <laughs> So <laughs> Ayun um, uh, Ito guys Ano Self Ano to Face ninyo So Nasa inyo Kailan yung nas, kail, uh, Kailan Ano ba to uh, Hindi willing eh Yung Kumbaga yung Kailan Kailan kayo nasa mood na gawin Pero guys uh, Wala tong ano Wala tong deadline Wala siyang wala siyang uh, parang yung kailangan tapusin nyo na within this day o kailan namin kailangan. Pero doon kami magbe-base. Doon magbe-base sila Miss Joy. Kami ng grades ninyo. So, dito kasi, uh, yun nga, sabi ni Miss Judy, yung pang quality. So, yung task dito, nakabase sa resulta ninyo, yung result ng ginawa ninyo, and then kailan nyo sinend. And then, syempre, uh, ano pa ba? Ayun, kung paano ka nag-follow na instruction. Kasi guys, Napakalaga talaga nun, lalo na pagdating sa client. So, mga parang kumuha nga si client kasi nga hindi niya kaya, uh, kumbaga, yung oras niya na hati na para sa mga napaka-basic na task. 
Tapos, kumuha siya ng VA and then lahat din naman ng mga pinagawa niya sa'yo, babalik din sa akin. Then, parang, lagay mo sarili mo sa client. Then, parang, parang naghanap ka pa ng VA kung ikaw, din, ikaw lang din ang gagawa. Kung baga, kung aayusin mo lang din yung ginawa niya. Di ba? So, and then pangalawa, kaya ka kumuha ng VA kasi kulang na ako sa oras. Tapos gagawin mo lang kaya lang mo trip. Parang ganun. So, nasa inyo, wala nang problema sa, sa, sa virtual lasting. Pero, kasama sa grades niyan. Tip ko sa inyo yan. <laughs> ayun. So, <laughs> ayan. Yung link po ba ilalagay? Sa... Yes. Ah, guys, eto ha. Sana lahat kayo nandito. Take note. Ang vow, ang vow natin, uh, specifically, lahat yun link lang. So, pag may assignment kayo eto, for future gawin nyo, gawa ka ng Google Drive. So, Google Drive, may Google, uh, may, may uh, Google Docs, may pwede kang maglagay ng Google Sheet. So, yun yung mga counterpart ng MS Office. So, MS Office, MS Word, MS Excel. So, sa Google Drive naman, andiyan si ano. So, guys, nung una, medyo uh, hesitant na hesitate akong gamitin yung mga yan kasi nga parang mas, ano ako, mas comfort ako sa MS Office. Pero, nakita ko, lang, nakita ko rin in the future yung parang, parang, ay, ang galing, ang ganda, parang, Alam mo yun, parang instead na kailangan mula, alimbawa, kayo for collaboration purposes, as a team or may, may client ka na, lagi, lagi may mga nagtatanong, uh, parang, pasan nga ng email lang ito, may update siya ganito, eh, dagdagan mo, oh, ito, na-update ko na, dinagdagan ko na, i-email mo, lagi attach-attach ng mga, ng mga email. So, do sa collaboration, ay, do sa Excel, pwedeng, pwedeng sabay-sabay kayong gumagawa. Alam mo yun, pwedeng nag edit kayo do sa Google Sheet. So, yun yung maganda doon. Then, ito guys, gawa kayo ng folder nyo, Lagyan nyo, virtual lasting, depende kung anong gusto nyo, ano, gusto nyo, uh, ano ba tawag dito, uh, folder name, uh, uh, pwedeng, uh, ano ba, uh, kaching-kaching, mga ganun. So, kayo, then lagyan nyo day 1, day 2, hanggang day 15. Then lagyan nyo yung, diba, day 1, lagyan nyo ng uh, title or subject na parang day 1, lead gen, mga ganun. So, so yung file nyo, ilalagyan nyo doon sa lead gen. And then, diba, day 2, content marketing. So, lahat ng mga, Mga task na nandun sa VAW, lalagay nyo din sa day 2 na folder. And then guys, yung folder yung folder na yon or specific na file, Google Sheet, pe, meron, meron na bibigay mamaya dun sa group page natin na parang kung paano, kasi hindi naman lahat teki, hindi lahat gumamit. Kasi kahit for me, first time ko din gamitin si Google Sheet nun. So, magbibigay ako ng video mamaya. And then, uh, yung link, kakapi mo lang yung link, yun ang ibibigay mo sa VAW. And then kami, bilang, uh, ang bawa, may, kaming mga taga-check, check namin yung, pag binuksan namin yung, uh, yung, yung pangalan mo, or yung, yung, uh, chinek namin yung task mo sa VAW, makikita namin doon yung link mo, and then pagkaklik namin, dapat nabuview namin. Okay? So, hindi yung, gumawa ka nga, nagsend ka ng link, restricted naman, wala din, di ba? So, dapat make sure na naka-viewable siya. So, lahat guys, lahat ng lahat ng assignment ng task doon magiging ano, doon yung magiging tawag dito. Magiging kumbaga puro link lang ang ilalagay niyo doon, okay? So, may mga questions pa ba? Sir, per task po ba one day? Ah, mas maganda po sana. Mas maganda pero I'm sure na sa lead gen sige mabilis kayo pero pagdating na lead day 2, day 3 yan. Clar cl clarify ko lang po, it's country po, not city. Tama po ba? Thank you. Pwede pong country, pwedeng city. Kasi pag, pag sa ano kasi, sa, sa ibang bansa po kasi, mostly state. So, parang country ang dami nyo. Tapos, ilan lang yung ano, diba? So, parang, uh, kumbaga, nasa sa inyo po. May gumawa ng state, may gumawa ng country. So, pwede na, kasi may, may iba po na parang, limbawa, mostly nasa America. So, nasa yung iba, ano lang, nasa Dallas, or nasa... Mexico. So, depende depend naman po yung ano, kung gusto yung country, mas, para sa akin guys ha, for me, tip ko lang, parang, parang mas mahirap maghanap sa ano, sa country kaysa sa state. Kasi yung isang state, uh, para mas madali siyang nagbigay ng marami. Actually, depende. Depende sa country. Uh, actually, naganap ako sa Russia nun, parang may, may, may certain country na nagbigay sa akin na mas madali. So, masyado kasi malawak. So, ayun. Um, pero, pwede naman guys, kung kung gusto nyo na, kasi mostly sa, sa isang state naman, ano, uh, iisa lang, parang iisang limbawa, parang sa atin, SMBC lang yung mahitam sikat. So, kung country naman, yun naman yung maganda. Parang, 
uh, mas marami kang option. Ayun. Sir, what if maraming silang branches within USA? Branches. Bigyan niyo po yung ano, yung pong make sure na parang maraming yung branches, si isang tao naman yung contact mo, di wala din. Di ba? So, or we wait for the August 10, 2020, please. Ano to? Or we wait. Miss Armand. Ay, ano ba to? Miss Armand or Sir Armand? Sir, nakalagay po na date sa quiz one is June 1. Sasagutan po ba namin yan? Nakalagay po na date sa quiz June 1, 2020. May tanong po ba doon? <laughs> na June 1? Or yung pun date lang? Double check ko po yan, pero pwede na po. Pwede po kayo mag-quiz. Actually, kinecheck ko kanina yan. Nasaan banda yun? <laughs> Ah, uh, tingnan ko nga. As a student lang ako, ah. tingnan ko. Wala na po nakalagay na day niya. Date. Ah, nako nga. This quiz open at Monday, June 1. <laughs> Yun ang hindi ko nakita. <laughs> Oo nga. Okay lang po, at least nakikita niyo naman po, di ba? Parang note lang yan. Kasi guys, nalala niyo dati. Yan yung sinasabi ko na na may time sila dati. So, At certain point, at certain point, a uh, point tinanggal din namin kasi nga parang marami nga hindi nakakahabol. So kawawa naman yung iba dati. So andiyan yung iba na galing trabaho, pagod na or panggabi. So ayun, para nahirapan sila kaya tinanggal pinatanggal ni Miss Judy. So Aha, uh-huh. may mga question. Sir, para saan po ba ang Trello? So si Trello po May tuturo yan sa ano, sa day 3. So, for the meantime... Okay. Wala oh. silang training band ha, kasi paid sila na trainees. Ay, opo. Yung mga ano lang, yung mga f- nag-free sa previous batches, may training band. Okay. Opo. Alright. Sige po. Can we still access this session on FB? Ah, uh, yes po, kasi live naman po to eh. Uh, sir, para saan po ba ang Trello? Mamapag-aaralan niyo po yung Trello sa ano. Guys, doon pala sa mga tasks, uh, kasi syempre, ano yan, Zoom meeting namin nung batch 2. So, okay mo umay pag maririnig yung boss namin hanggang day 15 ah. <laughs> anyway, yun nga. Uh, may mga na dyan, kung ano yung nasa task, yung instruction sa task sa VAW, yun yung susundin nyo. Kasi nga, uh, hindi na namin pinagamit si Trello sa day. Actually, siguro ngayon, Pero sa day 3, magagamit nyo yan. Magagamit nyo. Pwede yung gamitin. Pero sa day 1 pa naman, wala pa. Kasi dati, ang dami nung, ang dami nung batch 3. So, isipin mo, pag nag-trello lahat yun, wala na. Finish na. Kasi talagang ang gulo nun. Kasi lahat na, eh, lahat kaya, pwede mag-edit sa trello eh. So, imagine. So, ang dami nun. Tapos, alimbawa, ikaw may pinaghirapan ka. Tapos, yung isang kasama mo, hindi mo rin mag-trello. Na-drag lang niya somewhere or na-delete. Wala na. <laughs> Hello po, saan po makikita yung quizzes? Nandun lang din po sa TAS. Sa pag, nila, pag, pag binuksan niyo po yung uh, lead gen, yung, ano, yung, yung course, makikita niyo na po doon yung quiz, yung ano, yung, uh, and then yung ano po. I love Trello. Magkakaroon po kayo ng Trello. Uh, huwag po kayo mag uh, maganda, maganda talaga yung Trello, lalo na for ano, for collaboration purposes. So, Ayan guys, uh, dito talaga more on familiarization with the ano, uh, application na gagamitin ninyo. And yung, yun yung matututuloy nyo. So, nung una sobrang uh, exciting talaga lalo na pagdating sa patagal ng patagal, patagal. So, but for you. So guys, may mga tanong pa po ba? Uh, so guys, yung ano, yung June 1, ano yun na? Naiwan lang na info yun pero hindi naman kayo nire-required. Na, naiwan lang na info yun na ano, parang kumbaga dis, uh, description. Pero hindi kayo nare-record na magano. I am afraid that there will be some in- instances where submission of assignment. Sino to? <laughs> assignment will be late due to warranty. Is there flexibility in this terms? Yes po. Ah, hindi naman po porket ah, hindi naman po porket um, ay, sinabi ko kanina na parang mag-base kami sa dagdag, kumbaga, yun yung uh, isa sa pinakaano yun sa task nyo, yung kumbaga dagdag score po yun pero not necessary, na, hindi ibig sabihin na pagka hindi ka nakapagpasa ng day one, eh wala na hindi, hindi po ganun day one na po ngayon <laughs> ma'am Erica, day one na po ngayon <laughs> 
Eh ma'am Mariel, uh, wala po bang easiest way para, yun nga po sabi ko, meron po pero may mga bayan. So, nag-search din po dati. So, sabi ko, uh, kaysa kaka-search ko ng, 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 what on, ng easiest way, inumpisaan ko na talaga <laughs> para matapos na. So, sa, I am quarantine. Wala, hindi ba ma'am ano? Quarantine. Hindi ba dapat mas advantage po yun? Kasi hindi, nasa bahay lang kayo, hindi na kayo, naka, hindi na kayo makakalabas. Kung baga wala ka talaga wala ka talaga test, hindi gawin na lang yung test. I mean, parang ito yung magiging libangan mo talaga. Kasi guys, ito lang. When time, uh, when virtual lasting, dumating yung virtual lasting sa amin, parang nung tapos na ako, actually nung day, siguro mga two months na, doon ko talaga na-realize na parang ano kang pinaggagawa ko nung hindi ko nakilala yung virtual lasting, di ba? Parang sakit sa ulo, parang alam mo yun, tapos uh, uh, alam mo, sa atin wala pang ano, wala pang pinagkakitaan, so ang hirap. Kaya nung, nung time na parang uh, dumating si virtual lasting, parang ah, uh, Ah, uh, ayun, nak- nakita ko na na parang, oy, parang alam mo yung ginagawa mo yung patutunguhan na, parang ganun. Ah, na hotel po. Ah, yung ano, yung pag-uuwi po kayo, ma'am. Oh, hirap nga niyan. Okay lang, ma'am. Self-paced pa rin naman po. Kasi guys, sabi nga, sabi nga sa inyo dagdag ano po yung dagdag points po yun. Pero yung yung mga yung pinaka-result nyo, so yung pa rin po yung the best kasi Imagine, halimbawa, uh, na-late ka nga, pero yung ginawa mo naman talagang pang-global, di ba? Hindi lang pang-national, pang pang-international, di ba? So, talagang ano, talagang malaking bagay yan. Or si kapag walang email ad, pwede ba yung contact link ng contact link ng website? Yun po yung ano, yun po yung, yun nga po yun ma'am, yung info. Info at support.com, mga ganun or support at ano kung halimbawa SMDC mga ganun po. Yung po yun mismo. Basta lagi niya lisipin na para paano pag na, paano ko sila makakontact through email and then through phone. Ganun po. Pero tam na necessary na dapat i-try niyo kung kung gagana po. Not necessary po. So at least guys, ang pinaka-purpose ng test na to alam niyo na kung paano mag-lead gen. Ayun po. So uh, gamitin si Promodoro orasan ninyo. So kumo parang uh, Gano'ng katagal yung 100 ko? Today. Uh, and then, pag dumating yung time, magkaroon ka magkaro, magkaro, ng tong client, and then, oraso mo na sarili para makita mo yung, kung nagkaroon ka na yung improvement, di ba? Sir or see what time po dapat maipasa yung task? Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, wala pong problema kung kailan po talaga, uh, uh, ano, ano ba yung tamang talaga kung baga yung free po kayo or yung talagang gusto nyo ano, not necessary po naman kasi sabi nga sa inyo much, mas maganda talaga kung may babasa nyo rin agad para nakita natin na parang kasi ano guys eh uh, at ito po kasi guys ito, ito lang uh, pinaka tip ko sa inyo uh, wala po sa task or kailan nyo gagawin yung ano nyo yung resulta ninyo guys uh, nasa sa inyo po kung gano ba kayo kagigil magkaroon ng client. So, kung yung day 15, kaya nyo gawin day 10, much better, di ba? Nasa inyo po yun. Ba? Tapos ka na sa day 15, oh, contactin mo na kami, Miss Joy, Miss Mimi, Miss uh, Sir Orsi, yung pong ano ko, uh, tapos ka na lahat. Di ba? Beke na men, beka na men, pwede na magkakaya. <laughs> so, titignan natin kung maganda ba yung gawa mo, baka mamaya, gawa, putso-putso naman, di wala din. Diba? Pero kung nakita mo talagang panlabang ka, talagang ano na. So, guys, alam nyo guys, batch 3, Batch 2, hindi ko lang alam kasi syempre nasa training pa nun. Pero batch 3, wala pa yung graduation nila. Uh, actually, malayo pa yung graduation nila. Nasa WordPress pala sila. Meron na nagtatrial sa kanila. Meron ng, meron ng ano, meron ng, uh, bago mag-graduation, meron na may client. So, imagine, di ba? So, nakita lang talaga namin na parang, uy, bibo to. Matulungin to. And then yung attitude nga niya na parang, andun yung talaga matulungin siya. So, Nakita namin 'yon, din nakita namin. Ah, uh, nakita namin 'yon. Nakita namin yung resulta nung ginawa niya so talented. So, 'di ba? Kumbaga, shortly sagad. So, imagine 'di ba from ah, uh, batawag dito, nag-aaral pa lang siya, meron agad siya. And then, uh, actually isa si sa ano namin 'yon. Ah, uh, yun yung top 10, actually top 1 niya sa so batch 3. So, 
Hi, Bess. <laughs> Ayun. Then, bukod sa kanya, hindi lang siya yung time na yan. So, kung nandito man si Bess, shout out sa iyo. <laughs> ano nga po uli ang pass to make it sure lang? Tanong po. Data mining po or lead generation. So, yun po yung kukuha ng, ano, yun po yung kukuha kayo ng infos ng, uh, ano ba yung tamang word? Stock? <laughs> mag stock So, guys, try nyo, ano, um, Google din. Actually, yun yung time na parang pagka um, uh, Zoom meeting kasi yun. So, after nun, take note ako, take note, take note, abang nagtuturo si Miss Judy. Kasi, wala, wala pang vow nun kami. Makikita nyo, Zoom lang kami. So, wala. And then, yung video, hindi ganun kadaling ma-upload kasi ang laki ng video para matapos agad. So, hindi namin, ina- hindi namin inaasahan yung video. And then, hindi rin naman na-expect na may may upload sila. So, ang ginagawa talaga ng take note. So, uh, and then after nun, ano ba talaga yung task mo? Ano ba talaga yung para sa yung course na yun? So, yun yung ginugal ko. Ah, yung lead dyan nga. Then, makikita mo, ah, ang daming ano. Ah, and, um, talagang in-demand pala to. So, ayun, mga ganun. So, nagkaroon ako na idea. Hanggang sa dumating yun, punti-unti, hindi na lang, hindi lang pala, ano, hindi lang pala, pag-set ng calendar or pag-tawag sa boss na para, oh boss, may meeting ka na alas dos, ha? <laughs> ayun. So, ayun po, yun yung lead gen. So, yun yung, kayaan ko eh, hindi ko masabi pinakamadali eh. <laughs> Baka yan ang pinakamahirap. <laughs> Effective rin po ba ang Google Map in searching? Opo. Pag ina mo, yung talaga may, ah, may tawag na nakalimutan ko na sa SEO yun eh. So, yung pag nag-search ka, halimbawa, sabihin natin dito sa Pilipinas, uh, nag-search ka, uh, sabihin natin, parang nearest, ano, restaurant. Di ba may lalabas na sunod-sunod? Yun, yun yung mga yun. So, yun yung talaga tingin ako dati. So, Miss May, in case, ano? In case na may problem po sa brow and may troubleshooting or assist po, sino po pwede ka usapin? Uh, number one po, pwede nyo po kami i-PM sa Slack. Slack. Uh, number two, um, ayun po, may ano doon, may uh, ano ba to, channel sa Slack about sa mga issues. Pwede po kayong mag-post doon. Pwede PM kami or pwede mag Much better kung ipapost nyo po. Why? Kasi halimbawa po, hindi ako naka-duty. So, mamayang gabi pa ako, halimbawa. And then si Sir Neil, gising na umaga, nabasa niya. So, at least di ba sa post, pwede ka na niyang replyan agad. And then, kung PM kasi, baka mamaya, sakto pang, sakto na, uh, ang daming ginawa, and then, uh, edi, ikaw, ikaw na naghihintay ng tanong, <laughs> nga nga, <laughs> di ba? So, yun, much better na, ano, na sa post na lang po, or PM. Oh, hindi ko talaga makita yung quiz. Help. Laka. <laughs> Ba't hindi niyo po makita? Uh, pagbukas mo kasi ng lead gen, ma'am, nasa lead gen ka po ba? Pagbukas mo po kasi, uh, sa akin, hindi pwede mag-comment nito ng screenshot. So, andun po talaga agad. Uh, yung video ni Miss Judy, training video, and then quiz. Ma'am, saan ka ba nagbubukas? Sa ano po? Sa cellphone? Sir, kung ka- Guys, uh, kanina po yung send, wala po sa vow mismo. Meron po doon submission. Makita nyo doon yung task, doon nyo po ilalagay. Yes po, meron po. Magkakaroon po kayo ng feedback. Technical problem po yun po uh, sa, sa, sa uh, Slack or sa ano. Facebook page. Andyan po yung ano, yung day 2 and day 3. Uh, ngayon po, as we speak, may ginagawa po sa kanya. Kaya tinago ko muna. So, pero mamaya, ayokan ko po ulit. Yes ma, may attach lang po yung link. Yung link guys, yung link nung Google uh, Drive or spreadsheet ano ay uh, yung link po. Yun lang po yung ano niya para matingnan namin. Available na, available na po ba? Ang kalin ma'am Emil. Ah. Yung pong day 1 yes po. Day 2 pwede ko pong buksan ngayon. Kailan po yung day 2 bukas po ba? Pwede naman po kung sino yung tapos sa day 1 pwede na access yung day 2. So yung day day 2, day 3 pwede rin pong bukas nasa inyo po. So ngayon actually habang nagla-live po ako may tinignan May tinitinan lang po sa pinagkakumpare ko lang day 1, day 2. Kaya kinloss ko po muna si day 2. Hindi ko po siya kinloss. Actually, hinahid ko lang sa inyo. May access na ba kami sa Slack? Supposedly, yes. Kasi ang alam ko po yung iba doon kayo, 
Um, ano ba to? Siguro, ano, uh, ewan ko lang, Miss Yurilyn, pwede natin ipa-email na lang sa inyo. Make sure na lang na-check nyo email nyo. Or kung meron man kayo nakipag-communicate na sa kanya, sa kanila, so pwede nyo, pwede ko ipa-PM na lang sa inyo. Or sa Slack kasi, uh, sa Facebook group page po, group page natin sa Batch 4, pwede kong isend yung link doon, yung invitation. So double-check nyo na lang po. So guys, make sure lang na ano na nakabukas yung email nyo. I mean, pag nag-login kayo sa Slack, lagay nyo lang yung email nyo doon din para tumuloy-tuloy. Uh, much better kung send sa... Kasi guys, ano yan eh. Di ba meron kayong form na pinilapan, may email doon. So, ako for me, humingi ako ng, ng nagpa-invite ako sa Slack, email lang. Tinignan ko lang yung email ko, may, invite, may invitation ako doon, then click lang. Tapos na yan. So, ando na agad. Sir, day one lang po nakalagay. Ano pong day one lang po nakalagay? Aha. Uh-huh. Ayan lang po ha. Pero naman po. <laughs> mhm. Sir, same lang ba slack ng batch set? Okay ba po? Magkaiba po na yung ano, kung pinagsama natin, nagkagulo na kayo. <laughs> Ang dami na. Yes, yun po yung sinabi niyo, Patricia. Tama po. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Enroll niyo po yung sarili niyo. Pag bukas niyo po ng vow, kung cellphone man yan, make sure na makita niyo dun yung, ano, yung lead gen. Ay, make sure na po. Kasi dashboard po yan eh. Ah... Uh, Check ko po sa phone ko, ha? Sino ba po ba yung mga naka-phone dito? Meron po ba? So, kita niyo po ba yan? Yan yung, luma- yan yung lumalabas sa ano? Sa phone. So, much pero much better kung sa website nyo i-access. Kaya sa kita nyo, yan ang unang lalabas, oh. Dashboard. So, click nyo lang to. Kung halimbawa, site home. Ayan o, si Site Home. Yan, 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 yan. Ito, to, 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 to. Ay, kabila. Ayan, Site Home. So, pagka-click nyo, ayan yung available. Mm-hmm. Saan ba yun? Ayan, available calls. Makita nyo po dyan. So, click nyo lang po siya. Ito po. Kita nyo? Ayan, day one, day two. So, nakalak lang po yan. So, pwede nyo buksan din. Enroll nyo po yung sarili nyo doon sa lead dyan. So, kung sa website naman po, Makita nyo lang din site home sa left side, navigation. And then, uh, site home, makita nyo na po doon lahat ng mga course. Tapos, enroll me. And then, makita nyo na po doon yung quiz, yung task, yung mga instruction. So, sir, meron. Sir, yes, sir. Meron na po ako nyan. Ayan. Ayan mong Christine. So, paano guys? Uh, yung pong iba dyan, gabi na. <laughs> ano tawag dito? Baka may gusto nang matulog. So, Baka nga nato, tinulugan na tayo. <laughs> Ayun po, pe, kita kita sa lang tayo slap. Hindi po, not necessary ma'am, not necessary po. Um, pero nasa group, group, ano po kayo, Facebook group page. Ayun. Guys, yung iba dito, baka nakapanood na, and then ano, um, uh, wala lahat, means of communication, hindi nyo kami nakakontak o ano. Pwede nyo uh, i-PM kung sino yung nag sa inyo para ila- ilapit na ilapit nila kay sa amin. Okay? Sa YouTube ako naging nag-sir si Pera, binag-comment. Salamat. Okay. okay po. So... Para saan? Ay, may mga... Meron pong mga nakikita ko sa... FB page and YouTube na hindi ko nakikita I mean, vice versa So, ayun um, Sir, bakit sa akin po walang day two? <laughs> ano ba to? Mulit ba yung comment? O nasa kantin lang to kanina? <laughs> Ma'am Abby 
<laughs> Ayun po, uh, tinago ko nga po yung day 2 muna at may kinacheck lang po ako. Pinag-offer ko sa day 1, day 2, day 3. So, ayun po. Uh, nandiyan lang po yung day 2, mamaya lalabas yan. So, may mga question pa po ba? Meron ako hindi nakikita mga comment. Nas, baka nasa batch, ay nasa YouTube. Guys, yung pong model, ah... Uh, Ano po, uh, lag, ano lang kayo, nasa ano yan, nasa Play Store. Ilagay nyo lang po dun yung, yung ano nyo, yung, kumbaga i-type nyo lang model and then download nyo po siya. After nun, ilagay nyo lang po yung account login nyo sa ano, sa, sa, uh, yung sa VAW, ilagay nyo lang din po dun. So, mapapasok nyo yung model. So, at least, pwede kong nag-aaral lang habang nakahiga or hinihele si baby, di ba? O hinihele si daddy, so nasa inyo. So, ayun po. Ah, uh, hum. Kain, di ba? So gano'ng ka dedicated kasi ako dati kahit nagluluto, naghihiwa din laptop, cellphone minsan. So para lang makahabol sa tas. Ayun ah, po, yung yung alam uh, tayo Ma'am, uh, para mas ano, um, matulungan namin kayo is kung may mga concern kayo, screenshot sa inyo sa mode sa Slack or sa ano, sa group page. So siguro sa group page ano. Ang alam ko, pwede mag-comment doon. Gawa ko ng, ano, ng mga question nyo for day one. Then, sasagutin ko doon. Okay? Sir, mayroon kaya dark mode yung VAW website? Mayroon yata. Hindi ko maalala. Double check po natin yan, ha? So, ayun po. Mayroon pa po bang mga tanong? Wala na. Uh, paano guys? Magpapaalam na po ako. Uh, sino pa po ba mga kasama ko nandito? <laughs> ayun po. Mayroon, ang alam ko, naka, naka dark mode ako. I-double check ko lang po. Ah. Ang alam ko, naka dark mode ako eh. Sorry kasi tagal na rin ito nung huli kong up settings. General. Color scheme. Ah, meron. Hmm. Dark mode. Meron nga po. Sa settings lang. Ayan. Color scheme. Ayan po. Ayan. So, confirm ko lang po ulit ang sample po ng CD yung topic or subject na search. Ano daw? <laughs> yun na po yung topic or subject na search. Yun na po mismo. Hmm. Uh, real estate. Tama. <laughs> Pati ako nagulo. <laughs> Dahil kasi yung task eh. So, ayun po. Good night everyone. Ayun po guys, may mga pahabol pa ba? May mga tanong pa? So, paano? Uh, nice meeting po sa inyong lahat. And welcome po and God bless po. Do we need to maintain hyperlink details such as email and contact number on the Google Sheet? Hindi po kailangan kasi ano naman po yun, ma'am eh. Um, kahit tanggalin mo yun every time na as long na uh, pag naklik mo naman po yun, Nandun lang po yun. So, pwede, pwede na ma-copy-paste lang yun. I mean, ilagay sa browser or pwede direct link. So, wala pong problema doon. Sir, sa model. Ba't yung iba walang pangalan puro Facebook user? <laughs> Sir, sa model is as for the site. Ano po ilalagay ko? Yung pong ano, virtual uh, assistant at university. Yun. Yung pong mismong website natin sa Bao. Guys, pag may mga halimbawa, ano, Uh, ayaw sa model ba sa, sa, sa phone so check nyo lang sa website okay kung may tanong kahit sa Facebook pages na po maglalagay po ako doon ng, ano, ng specific na ano na parang support forum natin para hindi naman makalat yung ano makalat yung <laughs> yung Facebook page natin so ano kasi tayo guys eh uh, 
Uh, for me kasi parang, mabawa, ikaw, tinanong mo to, I'm sure may isang tao rin na magtatanong yun. So at least, hindi yung parang matatabunan yung tanong mo and or makaalat na yung Facebook ng dahil lang. Tapos hindi na, ano, I mean, natabunan na yung dapat na, yung mga mahalagang question. So at least doon, may talaga nila. Pwede mong control F, pwede mo lang i-search kung, ah, baka may nagtanong na na ito. O parang, yung iba kasi, ano, um, may, 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 may iba, mabilis magtanong, may iba nahihiya na parang, parang kawalan or nakaka... Actually, totoo naman yun, parang nakakahiya na magtanong. So, at least titingin ka muna doon, parang mag-observe ka lang. Di makita mo, ah, ito pala yung hinahanap ko, buti na nandito, parang ganun. So, ano po ilalagay sa list? Yung parang may ano na. Yes po, tama po, uh, Sir Rafael. Ayan, so... Mukhang... Kung may tanong, yes... Okay po. Set sa model. Great idea, sir. Yun. So, yun po. Uh, kita kasi na lang po sa Facebook page, a group page, or sa Slack. Okay? So, Ma'am Judy, baka na dyan po po. Uh, thank you po. And papaalan na rin po ako. So, guys, wala nang tanong? Ayan, si Ms. Judy. Ay, si Ms. Charlene. Good night. Wala na po. Sige po. Good night, everyone. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.